Hey, we love that umbrella guy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. This ain't a battle, baby, it's a walk by. Showering verbal rounds on those tiny clowns and laughing as they cry. I'm no longer taking what they're giving, cause they leave press on life, baby, that just ain't worth living. We aren't gaining, we're at war. With points to board or worth fighting for. Gaining inches in this battle of attrition. As case by case, we pass the ammunition. Pope, that umbrella guy, back with this communion. My check, my wreck. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing on a, what's today? Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday night. I like, love what? that new song, by the way. Yeah, uh, it's Pope That Umbrella. It's the rain of Pope the, That Umbrella. Guy the, the, the rain of Pope That Umbrella uh, guy. Oh, <laughs> I love it. The Pope of YouTube. Oh, I tell you, I, I wish there was an easier way to put in like the, um, <laughs> all the little bits with all with all the translation of what's being said though because that takes me so damn long i like the side of verbal fry that was yeah <laughs> that was funny i mean all these fuckers have that verbal fry it kills me <laughs> i love it Yes, if that. you too love that, maybe you would think about underwriting my, <laughs> my AI music habit because it is ridiculous these days. So, <laughs> uh, I swear, it's amazing. I mean, you can do a lot with it. My God, like, you know, some people I've noticed, I've noticed uh, like, like Jeff, Jeff makes great stuff with uh, Suno AI, but if you run it through more programs, <laughs> you know, it, cor it corrects it even more. So I've, I've gotten, I'm, I'm starting to experiment with it a lot, but it's, you know, I'm up to five programs now messing with it. So <laughs> I am. Oh. Yeah. I've been, uh, I, I need a new icon for tonight. Yeah. I gotta go. I gotta find one to go with the Pope. I'm going to have to start messing around. <laughs> I'm going to find, I'm going to mess around with it. Um, I love Copilot. Copilot is so fun. Oh, I love I love all the AI stuff. Like I said, in twenty years, you know, uh, we we probably will go Terminator. But until then, you know, <laughs> let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah, let's enjoy ourselves. And by the way, every time I see the fainting goat, I laugh outrageously. Every single mm. time the goat falls down the slide, I laugh. <laughs> and I know it's coming, and I still laugh. That is one funny clip. <laughs> so, so you want to hear something funny? One time, um, somebody wrote me. And they had apparently never seen fainting goats before. And they were like, 
are you making fun of my neurological condition? I was like, <laughs> I was like what? <laughs> Why? No, it's a fainting goat. They have them. They're prominent in these areas, especially, you know. I know oh a few people gosh. that have them. Yeah, I know a guy who used to have a fainting goat, and it liked to get up in a, he had a, he had a, he had a porch swing. And the goat would get up and it would swing back and forth. Well, if it got startled, it would faint and fall out of the chair. It was, <laughs> it was so funny. Oh. oh God! Every time they'd be like, "Don't make fun of." It. I'm like, "How can I not make fun of the fainting goat? It's pretty fucking funny." Why do you let it back in the chair if you don't want me laughing at it when it falls out? <laughs> oh. Oh man, look at that. Suzanne starting it out there with the $20 super tat. Dig the music and commentary. Thanks for keeping me from laundry. That's, you know, that's you, why we you put can this still on. do laundry while no, you're no, listening. You can. You can. <laughs> you can. Tug, there are housewifely duties to do, and laundry can be done while you're listening. Just not giving any excuses to those of you out there who have Mount Washmore Shh. climbing <laughs> up the side of your wall. Yeah, just take it in your yard. Water fluid will work. <laughs> you can always buy uh -huh. more. You can start again. That's why they have yard sales. I mean, if you you know if you're living on a limited budget because we all are filling the press from the prices of food, just go to the Goodwill. You can find good stuff at the Goodwill. I don't know Goodwill is not <laughs> that cheap either, man. Really, to be honest, you know, when I'm buying somebody's used clothes, I don't want to pay fucking seven ninety nine for a pair of pants. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> <True. laughs> that's all I mean. I ran all about that. Like, are you bitching about used pants? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, every, oh, and shoes. That I don't get that either. I'm like, they're used shoes. Come on, man. It's uh, the one up here. Like they have one in Nashville that's cheap. But the, the one up here. I mean, you think they have holy relics? Maybe I'll come dress like Pope that umbrella guy, and they'll release a few to me. Uh. <laughs> All right. How about this one? Here comes a new avatar. <laughs> uh, I like, I like the, I like the piss stuff in the back. You're like, no, drive them away. You're like. I bless this. <laughs> Shit. Oh my God. Oh, oh. God. Man, I, I I hate to say, but I kind of like David Gingras. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of demons. <laughs> Not on purpose, but that mofo is funny you know <laughs> i mean <laughs> he can't help himself <laughs> no he cannot help himself he is a little bit funny oh no i mean okay so his last thing he was like check this out this this cracked me up yesterday i did i thought about streaming but i was like no no i'm not streaming but man this really tempted me really tempted me so <laughs> he was like here's the new filing i'd post a link but for some reason Clayton's crazy cult, which we'll talk about in just a second. The KKK note. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, yeah, we're going to get that, there. Yeah, that's not my point yet. We'll get back to this. Okay? <laughs> Members don't like any information that contradicts their narrative. Spreading accurate information infuriates them. It's Friday. I want to make anyone mad, so no link. And then he's like, but if anyone just wants an early copy, just ask and I'll provide it. No questions asked. So nobody was asking. You know, people were making fun of him shit. So what does he do? He's like, oh, I got to put it out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's oh asking. God. So he's like, well, this one is controversial. So <laughs> I just, he couldn't even make it. He, he couldn't even make it a day without fucking. But I mean, he puts this up and then just a few hours later, he's like, I, I am going to include the link since nobody's asking. Oh, I love it. I love it. I got to make fun of this. One. I mean, read this. One. He's unbelievable. I love him. I, I, I kind of do. If he would drop the, if he would drop the threatening to sue that, I mean, you know, he's, he's been hired to, to do desperate shit and he's doing desperate shit. If he would stop the brow beating of people like Dave and, you know, and, and going after a certain Lord and, and trying to ruin their lives, just, 
the other stuff, I mean, he's unintentionally hilarious. He is a fucking laugh track to be laughed at. I hope he goes on for months. I like it. I know. I like it too. But I, you know, what's interesting is that like, I see it from our perspective, which is that it's, he's hilarious and he's entertaining. And he's also now drawn the attention of other people with big channels. If he had never, if he had never written that stupid motion to compel lunch, he is about to become the laughing stock of law tube. And I'm going to laugh and eat popcorn and watch it as it unfolds. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. So now we've got Runkle of the Bailey jumping in. He's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> we got Law and Lumber jumping in. Like, what is, th- I've never seen anything like this ever in my, I told you, I told you people, believe me when I tell you, we've never seen anything like this before. So it's about to make the rounds. Oh, it should too. It very well should. <laughs> and you know, this, this case does need a lot more eyes on it. it <laughs> I mean, does. it does. It very well does. It does. MG, MG Law's in the chat. MG, did you read the motion to compel lunch on your channel? I don't remember if you did. Uh, but, I mean, it, it's a joke, right? MG says it's a joke. <laughs> um, I can't wait till Ian gets a hold of it, though. I mean, like, here's Ian Runkle. He's like the nicest guy ever. He's a Canadian. He never says a, a mean word about anybody. Um, and he's just like... What? <laughs> what I, is this? I do have to give Ian Run. So, Chris Boozy, you know, uh, a lot of people know him from uh, Nate, Nate the lawyer, like them going, you know, the, the lawsuits going there and everything. But Boozy, he took aim at me for about two and a half years before that happened. And Ian Runkle saw one of his quote unquote reports and was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and he, he did one of the most epic own freaking videos of anything. He he owned him enough that he went back in and tried to ghost change some of his uh, some of his quote unquote findings, which I thought was hilarious, you know. And I don't know. I just thought that was great. That's a that that's led to the downside. If if people haven't kept up with the the Chris Boozy fall apart, by the way, oh my god, that stuff has been amazing to watch. That's just he went from he went from beloved by the media because of his political takes and loved by them because of his social takes to building his own platform, which was supposed to be a Twitter alternative, then running it like a dictator, (laughs) turning all of these people off because it was supposed to be a safe space, having um, media come after him. Then uh, he had multiple safety leaks through that you know he had that was it was insane we never read through the most recent stuff about him that they they're turning on him now because of his kate uh the the princess of wales (laughs) because of the princess of wales stuff we we should read that article we never did that i'll set it up for a live stream and we'll go through it all you know yeah we should it would be good to do like a recap of like where where is he now (laughs) where where are they now (laughs) It's like VH1 for Twitter failures. I mean, really, <laughs> it, it was it was crazy. I saw a report on the um, on his website, Spoutable, and almost eighty percent of the people that were there had their private information. <laughs> I mean, can yeah, you like imagine? phone numbers, phone numbers, mm-hmm. and everything, and passwords and everything. Yeah, it was unbelievable. And he could have turned it off. What was crazy is, you know, there's a everybody knows the the setup for it. He he bought an eighty nine dollar kit that came out of Russia. It's funny because, you know, he's a a political mouthpiece and he's always going off about Russia. Well, he bought (laughs) a Russian made one. It cost eighty nine dollars. He crowdfunded tens of thousands of bucks from other people saying he was going to build this thing. So he spent eighty nine bucks and it shows because the security patches, people that people bought that same thing as a joke and were telling him, Hey, um, you know, you can turn off the security feature so nobody can, you turn off all the passwords and make people create new ones, for example. So there's no intrusion. They were telling him all this stuff and he had no idea. He doesn't even know oh his own God. site works. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. So yeah, we'll talk about that. It's, I went to, I went to talk about it in a video and I'm not sure what happened with that. It was very interesting, though. Uh, YouTube, um, 
YouTube didn't like that video very much. They gave it, it was like it was coming straight out of night, uh, 2018. You know, when I started uh, really making videos, that's the kind of hits it got. I was like, wait a minute, this ain't right. You know, I expect lower hits sometimes, but it, I don't expect a flashback for years. You know? yeah. uh, all right, let's see. Let's see. Give me one second. What are we reading tonight? I don't even we know. Are, that's why I'm pulling up. I'm going to, that, that link that he dropped, you know, that, that, uh, Oh, the newest one. Yeah. The, mo response. the motion for judicial. His response, his reply in support of motion reply. to compel or uh, <laughs> lunch. Yeah. I haven't read this at all. I haven't seen any of it. I have read it and, uh, it's something. Uh, it's see, that's what I'm feeling here. Like I said, it's worth it. David, David, don't listen to any of them. You are a <laughs> super lawyer. Your <laughs> ego is warranted. You can send me headshots. I'll put an umbrella face over you because I love it so much. And I'll, I'll make it for your tramp stamp. It'll be great. <laughs> we can team up, you know, <laughs> be like coming straight out the toilet. No, I mean, wait. <laughs> David, never stop. Never stop. Be never. You. Be you, boo. Be you. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, the more people that pay attention to this, too, they, they you can tell what kind of lawyer he is. And again, he, he's hired to to absolute train wreck this case. I mean, that's why they brought him in. He's, <laughs> oh, he's doing a good job. I say, you know, he is a train wreck. Oh, oh he's a train wreck. Let me light my cigar before I get this started. I need that. Again, you people and your cigar smoking it just makes me want to smoke again. <laughs> Every time I hear the lighter, I'm like, that's why you need a see with a cigar. A I get one cigar. Like I get one of those instead of those little frilly ones, you get one of those this those big hog legs and those things. Big ones. Yeah, it'll smoke through an entire live stream plus another one. So you know, you know, my husband, men are men are hypocrites though because you all love your cigars so much, but you hate women who smoke cigarettes. And my my husband smokes cigars sometimes, and like I will if he's smoking a cigar, I'm like, well. I'm going to have a cigarette then. Cause... Oh, they smell bad though, man. It's so smell, do cigars. Know. Oh my God, no, no. they stink. C they stink cigarettes smell every like every bit as much. Cigarettes smell like freaking sawdust and, you know, cheap, cheap, cheap crap. Oh, cigar. Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> I will give you that it smells better than a cigarette, but it's really just, you know, it's like the same. It's the Don't same. Don't smoke. Don't smoke, kids, by the way. Don't, say that. Do don't not smoke. smoke. I don't smoke. I gave it up a long time ago. But in the summertime, I'll buy myself one pack of cigarettes, which will last me through to next summer. Which I don't think is that bad. Well, I, smoke, I think uh, one, I think half a pack, 10 cigarettes in a year. That's not really oh, a no, habit. Right? I smoke uh, I smoke about a cigar and maybe a cigar every two days because I smoke them. I only smoke when I'm on live stream, you know, that way. Yeah. You know, it's a good, well, when we're making fun of stuff, I stay calmer. You know, I, I was like, uh, some people make me mad and I rage. And I still do every now and then, but I want to, I want to be a little calmer. I don't want to stroke out in the middle of the live stream. <laughs> and another, oh, what's that? Oh, nothing, nothing. You listen to the ambulance come. And, yeah, that'd make a really interesting live stream. I hope if I ever have that, I have the. Uh, Please have don't the don't all. stroke out on. That's screen. what I'm saying. I hope I had the four with all to at least meet the mic. You know. Oh God. Yeah, I I've smoked a cigar before. I just don't particularly <laughs> like them. I like how you you were like, let's redirect that a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. There are there are some good cigars out there now. Unfortunately, they cost more. Um, I have, I have a nice person that sends cigars, not from them, of course, because I would, I'd be like, ah, but they send it from a, a cigar place. They send a box, you know, and that's, that's where a lot of them come from. They send me a, they send some pretty nice ones too. But as a cigarette smoker, like you inhale cigarette smoke. I don't think you're supposed to inhale cigar smoke, right? There's like a whole <laughs> other way to smoke it. Uh, and I no. don't. No. You don't like inhale that, no, right? No, you let it, you let it roll back. It depends. You can, you can let it roll back into your throat if you want to all the way, you know, depending on how far you're comfortable with. I did, uh, when I first smoked cigar, you know, I, I had been a smoker back when and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm a vacation. I'm going to try out a cigar and yeah, I was smoking it and I knew not to, to inhale it, but 
I did anyway on accident. And it was like, oh my God, I'm going to die here. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's really hard for someone who smoked a cigarette to not inhale smoke. So then you end up doing it and then you end up feeling sick. I don't, oh, I, yeah. And you cough a lot. You're like, I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't really understand the whole cigar thing. You got to chew cigars. Someone said, no, I'm not that far. <laughs> yeah. <I'll chew> <laughs> my dad used to, so my dad used to chew skull. You know, he's a skull man. Ooh. And he, he was like, he was like chewing. It's, it's nasty. So never, that is never so that. nasty. Yeah. So he, he decided he would teach me as a kid and this lesson did work. It's very cruel. I, I imagine you get in a lot of trouble for this these days, but like when he gave me a, he gave me a, a pinch of, of skull put it in my mouth i was like i was cool like dad and uh then he slapped me in the lip and and i swallowed it oh yeah, yeah it was the worst thing ever and that oh. taught me never never ever wanted to every <laughs> time i think about it i think about that moment it was so awful so it was a valuable lesson and probably a very mean cruel lesson but it was still very valuable you know what i carried that to this day i went from being like yeah dad that's cool to oh my god dad that is the most disgusting shit i've ever seen how can you do that Ugh. anyway <laughs> in in reply <laughs> to motion to compel lunch oh my god I still can't believe it. I, I, every now and I wake up thinking about this. I think it's a fever dream or something. It could <laughs> so. You're like, what did I drink last night? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Was, was that milk bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. My daughter one time, like, you know, she'll, she'll find a glass. She'll bring it to me. But she'll like, she was like, dad, I found my milk. And I was like, what? You found your milk. I don't remember you having milk. Can you? Oh she's no! Like, yeah, she's like, I found my milk in the toy room. You know, we we have a a little bitty room upstairs, and it's a place where you know we put the extra toys and stuff. She's like, I was like, when was the last time you were in there? I don't know, Dad. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, I was, don't I was like, drink oh. it. I was like, I was like, no. You can see it in have slow motion. Have you ever had? Have you ever had the sippy cup of milk left in the car that explodes? Oh, yes. Oh, not never had one of those. Oh, you've never explode. had one explode no. in your car? No, no thank oh, yeah. God. In the hot summer, milk that goes bad expands and then the lids pop off. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst <laughs> smell in the world. And it's happened in my car, oh, two or three times, which, by the way, is the car that uh, douche, douche Canoe is going to take from me, I guess. I can't wait to give it to him. It smells like rotting milk. <laughs> my, my daughter has, uh, my oldest daughter has two, th like two events that she was like, dad, you're the nicest. Cause I never got in trouble for these. And I mean, she was a little bitty and remembers them. One of them was uh, her grabbing a, a giant thing of powder and, and just smashing it in a room. And it looked like a, it looked like if a kilo of Colombian blew up in your room or something, <laughs> everything in there. She still remembers. I walked in. I was like, what in God's name happened to you? <laughs> it looked like a white Christmas in there. Oh, that God. One, okay, we're like, making the chat sick. That's getting sick. I guess I'm. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't want to hear about, you don't want to hear about uh, spoiled milk? Mm, and the smell. <laughs> oh, my, my daughter, we were supposed to go to the aquarium and, you know, she, uh, I took her, we had some, we had some lunch and then we got ice cream and she got six to her tummy. And you can imagine what happened after, you know, the whole backseat. I was like, Oh my God. So we stopped and I showed, I showed her how we hose out the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> and I taught her what the, uh, you know, what the third row was for when you, 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 you go and it was, it was awful. And I was like, we just, we're just going to burn your, freaking say we're gonna go get you another one <laughs> we're not gonna we're not doing i've done this. that i've done that i've thrown out a car seat oh, for I that have very to. reason i've thrown it out i've tried washing it tried hosing it down tried wash like taking everything apart and finally i was just like you know what forget this yep. <laughs> we're just gonna buy a new one we're just gonna trash it and buy a new one Yep, the parenthood is another hood, and it's. Rough. I just, I just saw uh, on Twitter somebody posted their, a little picture of their daughter who had fallen asleep in her car seat with ice cream in her hand and spilled it all over herself in the seat. <laughs> and it reminded me of that picture that Amber took of Johnny with the ice cream all over <laughs> and passed out. You know, 
like it, it was just it was so funny that like it's like what a you know a three-year-old would do and oh that's what my my four-year-old she was like one day she she got a chocolate ice cream and you know i look back and she was smearing it on the window she's like it looks like poop when people drive by dad i was like oh my god what are you doing girl what are you doing <laughs> making people think that oh she's funny anyway <laughs> okay oh they're, they're fine you know when people talk about that stuff too they they have their their wonderful moments and these these are funny in retrospect they're just they're horrible in the moment <laughs> right in the moment it's pretty bad but afterwards yeah. a few years later you'll laugh yeah you laugh with your kids about it too and you know when they're making friends and they're easily embarrassed you're like hey you want to hear a funny story <laughs> 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 all right, all right, here we go. <clears throat> the reply to motion to compel lunch. This is the reply to the reply for motion to compel lunch. That's what it is. <laughs> Introduction. Should I do should I do his voice? Let me <clears throat> let me see if I can get back. Oh, to actually, wait. Yeah. Maybe I haven't read this. This one by who wrote this? Gingris? Yeah. <laughs> have you, oh, okay. Have you not... okay, so this is the reply to the reply. Actually, I'm not sure that I've. I don't think I've read. Maybe I've read this. I maybe don't know. I'm losing this? track. I'm. I'm oh. losing track. I'm losing track. But let's go. Yeah. I. Yeah. Look I at don't this. Know. Look at. Look at this magic. Look. It's like. A... Yeah. Have you? I don't know. Have yeah. you read this? I think I might have, but let's read it again just in case. Because it's from, you know, it's stamped on Gingras, so. Yeah, it must be. It's his reply to the reply. Yeah, it's David. Yeah, so it's the reply to the reply. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> no, you're you right. Know? You're right. So so okay. he files the motion to compel. Then Greg Woodnick files the reply. And then and then Douche Kidoo files this reply to the reply. Got it. And then he puts it up and he's like, oh, you know, at first he's like, well, I'd let all of you read it. But all of you. How did he word it again? Crazy. Clayton's what? crazy cults. Yeah. So he calls you all KKK, KKK members. members. Yes. <laughs> He's like, that. They, they don't like truth. And I'm like, like it, son. You need to put that link up because I want to read that. <laughs> I want to read it. Yeah. I was like, man, I don't want to. I, I have a rule about directly interacting with these folks. You know, I can make fun of them all I want, but I, I try not to ever interact with him, but I really wanted him to put this link up. I really did. So I was like, if, if if they can't get him, you know, he's asking anybody, if you'll ask for it. I was like, oh, I am very tempted. I'm very <laughs> tempted. I'm like, I'm like, give me that live stream cheddar, baby. You know, because this, this is worth its weight in supers. <laughs> right, <here>. oh, okay. <clears throat> totally. Totally. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get back there totally. I'm, I keep I keep going back to Gollum, you know, for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, I know I go too far. If I if I if I'm like my process, I'm like, no, no that's a little too far. <laughs> really back a little. Totally, totally. Okay. Totally. <laughs> the question for the court is easy. There we go. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha. Nailed it. You got it. Nailed it. Whew. For nearly two weeks, Respondents Counsel Greg Woodnick has refused to speak to Petitioner's Counsel David Greengrass by phone. No, oh, so now it's about phone. Yeah, before he said he was refusing to speak at all. Yeah, he's like, he, he totally won't talk to me. Come and eat with me. Then you know. Greg puts out all the emails that clearly show they are communicating a lot. Now it's well, he won't talk to me by phone. <laughs> then they'll have what? a motion. If they had lunch, though, he'd be like, yeah, but we didn't need any aphrodisiacs. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> mm. this, this has made it impossible to have any meaningful discussion regarding the large, ooh, large number <laughs> of legal, factual, and evidentiary issues present in this unusual case. Unusual, yeah, that is the understatement <laughs> of fucking century. Oh, Lord. It's pretty unusual. This impasse, <laughs> impasse, <laughs> it's got that not silent E. <laughs> <laughs> Is particularly prejudicial with a trial just 60 days away, and it is needlessly expanded and, if not prompted dressly, 
it could delay the proceedings. <laughs> Basically, look at this. He says, see, da da da, explaining, don't do that. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, because the judge, the judge needs you to infantilize the explanation for her because she can't just, you know, look up <laughs> the citation. Yeah, exactly. You know. Oh my god. Now, it doesn't provide the citation. That's and the by the thing. way, he's the one who wants to delay the proceeding. Everything he is doing is in order to delay the proceeding and so that he doesn't she doesn't have to face the fire on June tenth. I'm just like <laughs> It's kind of like getting a, a stay from the, you know, from the, the verbal firing squad. Like, yeah, you get a stay, but it's coming. It's coming. We've always knew, you know, it's just like the uh, the deposit. We knew it was coming. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, how long can you put it off? He's trying. <sighs> yeah, very much so. While these reasons for his position are somewhat disputed and highly, I, I'm sorry, mostly irrelevant. <laughs> so it's mostly <laughs> irrelevant. One mostly. In, yeah. Hey, why don't you turn over some of that uh that stuff we requested and the judge said you should. Well, that's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> there is no dispute about this. Mr. Woodnick's refusal to speak with the undersigned is not acceptable. <laughs> 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 he's, oh. he's like you better talk to me baby mm -hmm. uh, i mean jesus christ man i've I, this sounds like a like a crazy ex-girlfriend or something you know yeah and strangely he's defending the crazy ex-girlfriend <laughs> he's like we need to lay out Perfect. on couches and eat you, you feed me strawberries it's in my motion <laughs> <laughs> Motion to compel <laughs> feeding strawberries. <laughs> oh my god! And for that reason, Greg Woodnick needs to spoon feed me yogurt. He'd be like, "What? <laughs> the fuck am I reading?" <laughs> and the judge is like, "Ah, eh, we'll have it." <laughs> and you're like, "What? Well, no!" Can you imagine a judge looking at that and being like, "I'll allow it." I'd like to see that spoon feeding yogurt thing. <laughs> spoon feeding yogurt. <laughs> but, but under the condition that we get to record it in <laughs> I want him to slather me and, and, and Gerber. <laughs> we'll allow it. Wait, what? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, what a weird world we're in. Yeah, somebody <laughs> noted in the chat, they're like, oh, uh, MG Law is like, Chocolate covered strawberry. He's like, of course. Don't go for Very the specific. Yeah. He's like, and it must be a specific type of chocolate. He's <laughs> like, Russell Stover. They dip their own. They have a good oh place in Nashville. <laughs> I'm like, what? You know what's funny is that even after his, and maybe it's in here. I don't know if it's in here or it was in Greg's exhibits. But even after filing this stupid motion to compel lunch, you've got him emailing greg saying i don't even like lunch maybe we could go shoot pool and drink beer instead okay so are you gonna file a motion to compel him to play pool with you now <laughs> what do you mean no, he didn't <laughs> like lunch he's like well you could hit the eight ball he's like well that could have two meanings actually <laughs> <laughs> why am i not surprised that this dude wants to go play with balls with greg <laughs> He's like, either he's talking about breaking up the eight ball, which, uh, you know, maybe that's Colombian. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. <laughs> just saying. Greg, I don't know. They make those metal chastity belts. You keep it on. Okay. I didn't know you needed one of those around certain lawyers. <laughs> Actually, after guy, the people. I would recommend it. Well, after the peeping Tom thing, you know, I, I'm thinking maybe, maybe a bunch of them. You need that around. <laughs> it is contrary to the mandatory rules, which require require counsel to meet and confer. Mr. Woodnick's refusal is also contrary to the mandatory professionalism standards of Arizona's Supreme Court. Oh, look, he doesn't just like, you know, translate, just do it. No, he actually put something in here. <laughs> it's, oh, look, he stole the emphasis added, too. That's what Woodnick was doing. <laughs> So, he did like yeah you know, he hasn't done that before i don't remember him putting an emphasis added but wouldn't it kept doing that over and over again in his last filing so i guess that 
it's like a coded a little coded message like i see you it's more like it's more like translating butthurt.exe <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. establishing duties for all lawyers to quote unquote communicate with opposing counsel in or in an effort to avoid litigation and to resolve litigation has actually commenced so does does that say phone i didn't notice the it, it, phone it doesn't it doesn't but then he's gonna say that Email's not good enough, and I guess that's in some rule. But frankly, that to me seems like a real time-wasting rule. Like, why isn't email good enough? It, it should be. He I sat down. I'm wait. I I'm spent time writing all my thoughts down. Why do I need to get on the phone and repeat it all when now I have a written record? He said something the other day about anything in email can't be trusted from a lawyer or something like that. I don't know. I read it again. I'm paraphrasing it, but I, I saw that. I can't keep up with all this. Stu I mean, there's so much stupid. I just can't keep up with he it. He clearly all. wants to be off the record. That's clearly what this is about. He wants Greg to talk to him off the record so he can make all his threats and Greg can't put it in motion. He can threaten him all he wants over the phone or in, in a restaurant and there's nobody there to witness it. I also like how he's sticking to the Laura is a private figure. You know, she is a oh. limited purpose public figure. That's what it is. You know, she's posted. She signs her own emails <laughs> with her podcast, her TEDx talk, her chicken soup for the soul shit. This woman wants to be famous. But he's like. He made up another threat. Did you see the threat? He was like, you can stick your head in the sand all you want. I just hope you have $150 million worth of insurance. So now I didn't see that. And I think he took it down. Does anybody have a, a screenshot of that? Because I never of got that? to see Oh, it's it. up. That's that's in his replies. Check this out. I'll, I'll pull it up. Oh, it's fast. still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Oh. You have to scroll the, when you go up, you know, you have the. Uh, oh, it's post, in the replies, yeah, not yeah, the post posts. replies. Yeah. So it's okay. right here. This is the one I didn't, I didn't see. Oh, okay. If she wins her case and sues for defamation, all these don't engage posts will be red meat for the jury. What do you mean? Don't what saying don't engage with him is red meat? What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why? Oh, he's Who? saying she's a she's she's not a she's not a public figure. She's a private figure. That's what not a celebrity. No, so she's not. A he, he wants figure. to keep the actual malice definition out of play. That's what it is. No. Yeah. No, but she's not. And any yeah. judge would find her to be a limited purpose public uh, figure, just like me and you. That's yep. what we would. That's what we would be. And that's the price you pay for go for going online. It's the price you pay for creating a podcast. It's the price you pay for doing a TEDx talk. If you want to be a private individual, you don't do those things. I know you you put on one Pope robe and a freaking face mask and suddenly everybody can call you whatever. I don't know what's up with this life. <laughs> one day you call yourself the Pope and <laughs> I mean, <come> on. <laughs> everybody's oh like, are you trying to take on Rick Tata? I'm like, he's the law Pope. He's a, he's a specialized Pope. I'm just, I'm just here. You got another problem, you know, like um, <laughs> you need a Pope of uh, plumbers union. I'm there. I am there. I'm there for you. I will bless that. You know? I know. I saw people in the chat. They're like, is he, is he throwing down with Ricada for the, for the Pope hat? I'm like, no, no, uh, no, we need more than one Pope. Nah, obviously. I would you not. ricada has got his hands full with that law tube, man. They need, they need constant guidance. Dude, if anybody I would not want to verbally throw down with, it would be Ricardo Law. I would not <laughs> right. verbally throw down with. Who the hell is going to uh, challenge rackets to anything? I mean, you know, everything I do, like I make a song, he'd just laugh about it, and he'd fucking, you know, he'd spend a, like four and a half days like making fun of everything. You know? <laughs> and the funny thing is, it would it'd be funny enough to listen to for me. I'd be like, that is pretty funny. <laughs> You know, it'd be kind of like that AI roast, only really, really harsh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I asked. Yeah. I, I think I've told people this before, but I was very close to asking Nick to fat shame me 
uh, a year ago because I was just the scale was going way too far in the other direction. And just the thought of it made me lose 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I never had to ask him. I was just like, literally, I was just scared. I was so scared because I knew if I didn't start losing weight, I was going to tell him to fat shame me. I was going to pay him to do it. And just the threat of it was enough. I don't know. I, I like Ricade. Like freaking, I want to, he, he, I like him uh, making fun of other people. I don't, it's just like a, <laughs> right. If he makes yeah. fun of you, it's, it's brutal. Yeah. Brutal, I don't need man. it. I don't need it. It's just like, there's, there's certain people online, him, uh, Mr. Mr. Mediker. I've never wanted to attract him. You know, there's, <laughs> there's certain folks. I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, I can deal with, I can deal with the crazies, but man, no. Yeah. The, when smart people, when smart people roast you, it's always a brutal, <sighs> brutal. Oh my but God. Yeah. So let me make The other this day I that. told him too. I, the other day I texted him and I was like, Nick, the scale's going in the wrong direction. I need some motivation. <laughs> and like four days later, he texts, put down your fucking fork. <laughs> <laughs> I get out here. Let me open your chocolate milk for you. Yeah. I see you slipping down the steps. Oh, Rebel bird. You're so right. I would have become okay. anorexic as a result. No joke. All right. Here you go. It's. Ooh, are you, you like that choco milk? Yeah, but the one that there's you who takes like chocolate milk. Yeah, she was like, she was like, so who makes you who? And I was like, well, you who? Well, she made, she said, who who makes this chocolate milk? And I was like, you who? And she was like, well, who makes you who? I was like, I, I think uh, the <laughs> Keurig Dr Pepper used to di distribute it. And she was like, no, no, who makes it? I was like, you mean puts it on a line and i don't Oompa, know Oompa Cows, i'm not sure Oompa, Oompa loompas yeah. they make it Oompa? that's what you tell her Oompa loompas. Oompa loompas? Huh? yeah santa's elves yeah you think santa's Minnie, elves make Minnie it mouse? Minnie mouse yeah Minnie mouse does it yeah give me five. that makes that's sense yeah it does all right hey go go with yeah, your show <laughs> yeah and paw patrol, patrol yeah they get together they're all yeah. there too on the I line making the yoohoo yep yeah. yep so I think all of them walk and make you hope. They do? How much do they get paid per hour? Do you Chocolate think? cows. Five dollars an hour? Wow, they work cheap. That's cool. Maybe <laughs> I could hire them. I could hire them to, you know, make memes for me. Do you think they would make good memes? Okay, cool. I'll run my letter. Dear Paw Patrol. <laughs> no, everyone. <laughs> oh, dear everyone. Okay. All right, go upstairs though for a little while. Love you. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll play we'll play the the bullet game later, okay? No, we play it right now. No, we'll play it after with the live stream, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, she's a uh, she's at the age she's she's got her a controller, and um, we have a game called Enter the Gungeon. You know, you just run around, and they have like no, cute little game. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's the bullet game. That's its name, the Gungeon. You know, and <laughs> you go in, and there's these like cute little bullets you know they're like uh animated bullets out to you know enact revenge on you take you down so she likes playing that she's like Dad, let's play it let's play the bullet game so i'm like all right there you go that's the carrot i, I put up a screen uh i'm sharing a screen with you <laughs> yeah yeah there's a boss too thank you for telling us i'll see you later I shared a screen with you for a private individual. It's weird that she has an, a website named after her with her like giving TEDx talks and look at it, it's the podcast, the TEDx talk, the horses, the music. This is a private individual. Why does she have a website called lauramichelleowens.com? Oh my God. She rocks it out too. Yeah. Oh yeah. She has music. You didn't know about that? No, I've not heard. Oh, no. I'm scared. I'm scared, Megan. And what's I'm weird scared. about this is that it looks like it should have volume, but it doesn't. Like, it, it's just muted. Video of her muted. Oh, Do no. It. She's being attacked by cannibalistic horses. They're after to me, run! <laughs> like, if you go to the music tab. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, stop no. it. <laughs> I did. I did. I didn't realize we were going to do that. Yeah, we can. Well, well, that, um, that is a... Uh, that is a locals because <laughs> you know no, yeah. no don't play it here don't play it here <laughs> yeah but it's like a whole video of her singing her song about dogs she my has... dogs in my country yeah and hanging like out that. by the casita and oh. i don't know if that's her sister i don't know 
and that Got my weird. Dog. This is her. This is that weird dog that came up in the Michael Maricini case. <laughs> she accused him of kicking this dog and saying it was ugly. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bad person, but this is an ugly dog. Yeah, so when she's like, "I'm hanging out with my dogs," she really means that. <laughs> I never knew that. Oh. oh, that dog! That dog is one of the strangest looking creatures I ever saw in my whole life. <laughs> the dog's like, it's not my fault, Megan. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. Look, I, I Dave Neal is the good person in this scenario. Me on the other, <laughs> look at this dog. His little tongue hangs out the side yeah. of his mouth. It's so sad and pathetic. Never tell oh. you I'm horrified by horses. Have ever told you about? No, that? you've never told me that oh, you were God. afraid when, of horses. When I was a kid, I read a comic book. Like when I was really little, it was a Red Sonia comic book. She ends up, uh, like she's, I, I think, I think she gets shipwrecked on an island, and they find a bunch of of horses there, you know, and they're all cute and nice, and uh, then they, you know, they bare their teeth and they start attacking her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, so my dad, you know, it's like, Oh dad, you know, where are horses me? And he's like, they're not that bad except their teeth. When they grind, they're like a chainsaw. <laughs> I was like, Oh no. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. So I thought uh, when I was a kid, little bitty kid, I thought that uh, horses were, you know, they might attack you. He told me they were cannibals too. <laughs> they eat their own. What do you think they'll do to you? <laughs> I was like, Oh God, help me. Oh, uh, Look at this in the in the in the uh, on her website. It says, as a public speaker, Laura is particularly passionate about advocating for domestic violence awareness. She's describing herself as a public speaker. How does that? How are you not a public persona? As a public speaker, you hire yeah. yourself out for this. I don't know. Maybe you should turn on that. Uh, <laughs> maybe you should maybe you should answer for her. Let's see what the, she what she has to say on the sound. <laughs> I am a public person, sort of, when I want to be, but not when I don't want to be. And I don't want to be where, where this is concerned, where Dave Neal is concerned. I am a private individual. Period. What's so hard to understand? I'm a public person when I want to go on TEDx. I'm a public <laughs> person when I want to go in my horse jumping competitions. And I'm a public person when I want to get hired to speak in places. But I am definitely a private person when it comes to lying about getting pregnant and dragging innocent men through courts. They're Why you, is that so difficult? You never understood. That is a private TEDx talk. It's only toward people that agree with her. So obviously it's private. Shh. <laughs> I mean, right. don't you mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this is a private live stream. Only people who agree. <laughs> <man. laughs> I'm a very private person. You know? That's why I wear the mask. You know what? I I'll, I'll say too, like none of these fuckers, uh, they actually respect your privacy. You know, for me, like I got out here and, you know, I, I talk about cases and my name wasn't out there. Yeah. Did the Washington Post give a shit about that? No. No. <laughs> uh, Newsweek, Rolling Stone, none of them. No way, baby. Uh -huh. No way. Yeah. No, no. I mean, like, it's interesting how some people can be private and other people cannot be private. Like, I don't know. Just, it's absurd. No, they're just like, you know, well, it works right now. So they'll change the definition. Yeah. It's just financial intimidation. That's all it is. Every time they scream about 150 million. The problem is that this is landing in a just a nest of lawyers right now. You know, there are all these lawyers looking at his motions now. And oh, I can't wait for that. I mean, I I can't wait for Ian's um, you know take on all of this especially on her new attorney's uh behavior <laughs> i can't wait oh i forgot we were in a document <clears throat> so continue <clears throat> emphasis added <laughs> okay so the rules require lawyers to talk but mr woodnick won't talk by phone <laughs> it doesn't say by phone but that's what he means remember that's what he means what if anything that <laughs> that is the that's the elaine what if anything? What if anything? Yep. <laughs> you remember? Yep, that's yep. Elaine. 
should uh, the court do about this? Petitioner's motion offered two pragmatic, if slightly unusual, solutions. Oh, there's a footnote. <laughs> it's a footnote. In his 23 plus years of vigorous litigation practice involving many cases far more contentious than this, undersigned counsel has never, never encountered a situation where opposing counsel refused to talk by phone. That's. I resent that you are making fun of my lawyer. He is a great lawyer. A great lawyer. You can call yourself the Pope of YouTube or whatever. <laughs> But he is the Conor McGregor of litigators, okay? <laughs> the Conor McGregor of litigators. I don't know if you know who Conor McGregor is, but he's just, you know, the greatest MMA fighter ever to have lived and also is on a losing streak. But whatever. Oh, my God. Somebody make me a Conor McGregor, that umbrella guy. <laughs> oh, God. just uh, It doesn't have to be beautiful. Just to uh, slap my mask on top of... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, dead punk makes amazing stuff. That's who made the Pope and so many other things that I utilize. But I'm not very picky. If you want to put something out there, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picky. Uh, he says, uh, I say Nobody. that, and then you know, ha, the last time I called for that, you would not believe some of the things that I've gotten in my <laughs> my inbox. I was oh, I'm like, sure, yeah, I was like, you know. uh, I said I'm not picky, but I'm going to say that uh, that a penis with an umbrella mask, I'm not going to use that as <laughs> All right. I have finally lit on the perfect avatar for your Pope hat. This would be my, my cartoon self serving up demonic pizza with toppings from hell. <laughs> That's what Reddit said about me, by the way. Oh, Demon look at that. Demonic pizza. She's a demonic pizza with toppings from hell. That's what AI did when I typed that in. Demonic pizza purveyor. <laughs> with the Pope of YouTube. Man, I'm going to cast that back to the hat rack. <laughs> <laughs> May the power of Christ compel you. May the power of the hat rack compel you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about making like saints and everything else, you know. I'll oh be like, God. Oh, hey, Megan. That, would be, that would be hilarious. Yeah. I got to work on that. Keep reading. I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've already gotten complaints about the Pope thing, too. You know, complaints. Like, yeah, I'm sacrilegious. I was like, I'm, hey, it's not I'm sacrilegious. Catholic. I'm not complaining. I'm, he's, I'm Catholic. I give him a Catholic pass. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, man, you know, my God. If it's funny, it's funny. Come funny. on. Okay, here we go. So that was footnote one. Where, oh, there we were. Solutions. Number one, order council to meet for lunch, hoping the meeting will help increase communication and decrease the level of contentiousness. They're from the guy who's threatening fucking everybody. <laughs> yeah. You've got some nice kneecaps, Mega, and it'd be a shame. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be a shame. shame to lose those. It'd be a shame if a book of law that. were to fall, fall from the heavens and crush them. You'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. He's definitely like he's definitely like doing that to Dave too. Like, hey, Dave, that's a nice life you got there with your pregnant yeah. wife. And your your new house in Tennessee would be a shame if I left you with nothing but a tent. <laughs> Coming straight from the tent, man. He needs a song too. <laughs> Dave, Dave needs a song. Dave oh. needs a song for sure. I'm gonna have to give him more shout outs in them. I don't know. I've just been smack talk songs. <laughs> I gotta make a. <laughs> I gotta make a. I gotta make an all I've, I've For some reason, I've had the uh, walk by thing stuck in my head. There was a guy who uh, threatened. I've heard that said before, but the, it sticks with me because a guy threatened Ricardo one time um, to walk by his house with a crossbow. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, what? Yeah, I, oh my god! It was the funniest thing ever. He was like, okay. "I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you and your kids the meaning of duck." I was like, oh. "What?" Yeah, it was that happened back in the Vic uh, Mignogna stuff? Oh jeez. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was. 
It was crazy. People it was so kind of weird. funny, but crazy. Yeah, I was. I was like, "You're gonna walk by his house with a crossbow? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's real gangster." <laughs> you know. He was like, I'm hard. I'm hard enough that I'm going to crossbow your house. I was like, I don't think that's... Uh, um, uh, I don't remember that from any of my la- rap lyrics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Such a strange and specific threat. Yeah, it was very crossbow. specific. <laughs> oh. But I mean, it was crazy. He was like, I'm going to teach you and your kids the word duck. <laughs> you know? Oh. Uh, because I was like, you know, Ricada, as funny as that is, you know, he, he didn't mention your your kids. You know, that is pretty jacked up. Yeah, that was such a crazy moment then that uh, even Medicare picked up on that and was making fun of it. You know, because I was, Weird. I can't, re- I've got a, I've got a, it was another YouTube. I can't remember who the guy was. Maybe somebody in the chat will remember. You know, because I would love to go back there again. God, I'm going to have to ask people about that again because there's a whole live stream. It's great stuff. Uh, but second part, in the alternative, waive the in-person conferral requirements of Rule 9C, which Woodney has recently ignored. Anyway, what a monster. That Woodnick. He's such a devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it yeah, was I, not- say, I say wave it. Wave the requirements. Do it. I give him nothing. Oh, wait, is he whining about money? He's like, (laughs) these are the people that have filed and delayed this for months and months and months, and they're complaining about how much it costs. Are you kidding me? If it was clear in the motion, undersigned counsel strongly believes meet and confer requirement is a good thing. Indeed. No emphasis added. Come on, emphasis added, man. Indeed. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that process has already produced significant benefits in this case. Specifically, on January the 3rd, 2024, respondent filed a Rule 26 motion for sanctions asking the court to punish Ms. Owens for quote unquote fabricating her pregnancy claims. That motion and the assertions contained therein largely dominated this proceeding for the last three months, resulting in both sides incurring thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands, in attorney's fees and costs, even though all other paternity issues in this case are moot. When they are desperate to flip the page, aren't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is. I mean, I was... <sighs> They really, if they if they get to leave it at that, too, they know if they get to leave it at that, there will be no true call out. There, I don't believe there will be real consequences anyway. I just honestly don't believe it. Unless if it happens, I will be pleasantly surprised. But I personally don't think um, there are consequences for people like this. You know, and, and look at look at most cases. Again, this is a weird case, but how many cases have we seen with weird allegations that, you know, again, she's too smart to go to jail or, you know, yeah, she stabbed that guy 108 times, you know, but she was on a <laughs> marijuana psychosis. Oh, yeah, right. But she gets an excuse. Well, well look, I, I truly do believe that his entire strategy here is to exhaust the other side. Um, and, and that is, he's, he's throwing everything at the wall. He possibly can. Yep. I don't think it's going to work. I think it's just going to serve to piss off the judge, but who am I to tell you what to do, boo? You do you just, you keep on being you because I think it's working for you. I think it's working for you, sir. He, he should look up all the cases where people have threatened and tried to go after youtubers too and you know <laughs> the thing is dave neal's channel is criminally undersubscribed right now you want to blow his channel up you know make it huge <laughs> that's how you do it he i i'm not saying i wouldn't wish that on anybody but if it happens he will he will give dave neal a spotlight like he doesn't want you know <laughs> that's the stupidest move you can make i did it i did it I am the patron saint of breadsticks and bourbon in the swamp. I see. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Breadsticks and bourbon. 
And we must supersize it now. <laughs> Pond scum posse unite. <laughs> Pond scum posse supersize it. <laughs> <laughs> I only wanted fries with that. <laughs> 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 Coming straight out of Olive Garden, yeah. <laughs> I need to. I, oh, maybe I need to do that. There, I have so many song ideas. I'm like, oh. you know, I I am hamstrung. You should by do this one for thing. the Pope. Do one with the Pope with some Latin chanting in it underneath <laughs> underneath the sick bass. Oh man, you know what? I bet I could get a like a Latin like a choir in Latin. You know, they could do uh, they yeah. could do some Enigma. Yes. That's what you need. You need like an enigma underlying yeah. some sick beats. It'll oh. be great. I'm telling you, it's funny. Like <laughs> AI, uh, what kind of music do you want? Well, let me see. I would like my last descriptor. Let's see. It was, I would like hard hitting bass. I would like a trap beat. I would like bass. I would like gangster rap, bass, <laughs> epic flow. And it, it it says after that it says bass, 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 <laughs> bass, 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 bass. That's all it says. It says it <laughs> like 19 times. Bass. Oh. Give me bass. Yeah. <laughs> Give me bass. <laughs> and then sometimes it gives me like it gave me a country music song one day, you know? It was like, it's that Pope Umbrella guy. I was like, no, I don't want that. I don't want some tears in my beer. You know, you know what's funny is that you sound like a country boy, but you hate that music. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, you know, I can bust some song of the South. Like I know it by heart and that, but you know, it's a, uh, no, it's not my thing. <laughs> I, oh. I grew up on electronic music. You know, I, uh, I caught that electronic wave coming out of like, you know, the KMFDMs and all that stuff when they were hitting in the eighties and the nineties. I love that stuff. So yeah. And then it's become whatever this stuff is, which is amazing. I love what I love how electronics has changed music. I love it because it makes bass. <laughs> I love bass. <laughs> If anyone wasn't paying attention, Tug loves bass. Bass, yes. <laughs> Did I mention I love bass? Somebody made me a little uh, rapper icon, too. He looks just straight up like white boy, white bread. is so fast, so cringy. Yeah, I got to I gotta find him. Here he is. Let me show you this one. Second. I like it. Um, he's got on a an Only Pickles uh, freaking shirt and everything. <laughs> Yeah, they, they made me an Only Pickles, you know, instead of an OnlyFans. Oh, so good stuff. Here, let me let me throw this up here. Check that out. I'm the big deal, baby. <laughs> Look at the side <laughs> hat. It it's pickle, pickle you. you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's pickle you or pick you because we always pick you. Pickle you. Yeah, I got my Only Pickle shirt on. Mm, look at that grill. Oh man. Be like Kanye. Bam. Have you seen Kanye's teeth these days with his thing he's wearing over his teeth? Oh, my God. No, I haven't. Like I've oh have seen his wife walking around in an extremely <laughs> sheer dress. With, look up, like, with look up Kanye West out. teeth now. Look up. It, it's like he picked up a, right. a grill from a salvage yard. No. You know? <laughs> what is so going poor. on with him? Oh, he's oh, he's interesting, too. I. Ugh. What the hell? That just looks like a piece of tinfoil. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. It probably it? is. It's what it looks like. Kanye. That's what Kanye. it is. He literally just put tinfoil over his teeth. That's funny. <laughs> I love it, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, no, it's platinum. You don't know. You don't understand. You're not a platinum connoisseur. You don't know how That's it is. Not platinum. They claim that it's titanium. That's that's aluminum foil. <laughs> Well, you've got to keep the messages from coming through your teeth, Megan. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks the big. I would. I would go into jokes about what he says, but they're a little too woo woo, you know. <laughs> Have you I seen that that picture of his wife though? Like yeah, what yeah. she was wearing. Yeah, what, her. What her is she's happening? naked. To the like. A, <laughs> she she's got like see through. Yeah, material. I don't. I gotta understand this. So he divorces Kim because she's too provocative. And then he gets together with this other woman who he allows to walk around fully naked. 
who looks like Kim Kardashian. Who looks exactly <laughs> like Kim. Yeah. Will someone please explain this to me? Like I'm five? I don't understand. I understand that maybe he's not well and so I, I, maybe that's all there is to I, I it. wonder i wonder you know one of the problems when you get that much money i think you have a lot of enablers that are around you and they let you they'll let you self-destruct as long as they get paid and mm. i do you know because he went from funny to you know when he started talking about conspiracy like some of the things that you know some of the things again you know him talking about the system and things like that i was like yeah and then he was like and you know you know who's after me specifically and i was like no i don't want to <laughs> i'm not gonna repeat you Kanye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and they cost him cost him what a billion plus dollars <laughs> so i, he I been think our president. he's probably unwell but you know but this is this thing with this woman that he's parading around and encouraging her probably to do this stuff is just sad i mean is she just does she know people are laughing because people are laughing no one is like oh she's beautiful people are just like what the hell i want to that's one of my life goals i want to be so rich that i can be that mentally unwell and people are like yeah that's quotable that's quotable in a good way <laughs> 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 i don't want to be that unwell i just want to be rich that i could be yeah it's so crazy okay <clears throat> oddly and inexplicably before finding again, the link to this is up online if you want to, you know, because I see, but they're like, why not read it? Because it's boring if you just read it. It's not fun. I don't know. That's why we have live streams. Oddly <laughs> and inexplicably, before filing the Rule 26 motion, Lucky underlined it all. Mr. Woodnick failed to provide the mandatory 10 day notice and safe harbor period required by Rule 26C2B. In other words, in other words, like that wasn't clear enough. In his motion, furiously attacking Miss Owens and demanding sanctions for her alleged violation of Rule 26, Mr. Woodnick himself violated Rule 26 by filing a pleading that failed to comply with the mandatory procedural steps of that rule. Man, that is a mess. He keeps going back. It's like he's stuck on this one thing that comes up over I and over I sent again. you the Conor McGregor of, of that umbrella guy. General Tuggernaut did it. It's in your Twitter DMs, and it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, give me one second. It's hilarious. Down for one hilarious. 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 Need it so in my life. I it love says, you. It says McTugger. <laughs> I, don't think I, I don't think I get all of um of uh general tuggernaut's messages either i got a few people like that the uh the scientology uh what's his name uh growing up in scientology is is that i can't oh, yeah, remember yeah, aaron aaron i got yeah, his like, email though right yeah i did write him and um you okay. know and that upset but we were talking about uh him coming on and i thought that would be you know it'd be a really interesting uh well we were going to do it one week I had an issue and I wrote him back for the next week. Hey, you know, can we get that? And I never, I never saw a reply. Well, a couple of days ago, I got a reply through Twitter and I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe he just now got around to it. I thought, you know, maybe he wasn't interested anymore, whatever, you know, so I didn't follow up, but I noticed the date on it. The date on the reply was like two and a half weeks old. And I was like, wait a minute. Am I just now getting that? Twitter so I tried to write him with you. I'm telling you. So I tried to write him back and I couldn't. So Megan was nice enough to, Get the, Share my screen. Rosalind um, Duke made one too. Okay. <laughs> it's Conor McGregor. Pa um, he's painted red and white. <laughs> oh no! Let's check it out. <laughs> 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 I was pulling up the other one too. Let's see. Yeah, this one's not General Tuggernauts. This is Rosalind Duke. She's uh, I've got so that. awesome. General Tuggernauts is almost up. Let's see. Here it is. Boom! Look at that. <laughs> Nick Nick Tugger, Tugger baby oh <laughs> he's gonna throw it down <sighs> that's 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 my life goal i want to get so ripped that my six packs have six packs you know? <laughs> that will be enough tiny six packs there you'll be like oh my god they look like a they, they, yeah they look like mcdonald's chicken nuggets because they're little six packs in there it'll be like a 20 piece with little six packs <laughs> 
If there was surgery for that, I'd be down for it. <laughs> Have you seen those people who shoot a shoot like silicon or water into their muscles, you know, to look like they're they're built? Oh yes. It's terrible. <laughs> so weird. It's so bad. This whole the, the whole plastic surgery thing has gone way too far. Like I'm all right with a little facelift, a little eye lift, a little, you know, nose job if you need to, some lipo or whatever, but it has gone so far beyond. <laughs> someone needs to pump the brakes on the bbls and the, i don't understand why you would ever want to see your butt from the front <laughs> i just keep wondering you know, how how weird it would be to change my name to umbrella umbrella my middle name guy <laughs> i wonder how it would be that umbrella i'd be like yeah people just call me that that I'd be awesome on a license. <laughs> it would be. Yeah. I mean, you get well, 600 bucks. You can change say, your name. call me Roach Self. I think you can say, call me that umbrella guy. Oh my God. And that's real. You know, like, um, so I, I was, thought you made that up. No, no. That's why I was joking. <laughs> I wouldn't even thinking about what was going on. Let's see. Roach. Um, what do they call it? Pronouns. Yeah, I'm gonna look at <laughs> There are roach, roach pronouns. pronouns. There are, there are. Okay, so here actually let me pull this up on screen just real quick. Because this we're gonna is need real. to start we're gonna need to start adopting those roach pronouns since yeah. we're you know we're roaches getting that roach cash scurrying around under the refrigerator, scooping up all that roach cash. Maybe I should start calling myself roach roach self. Yeah, they they're they're my pronouns are roach, roaches here's one of the pronoun pages like th again this is just one random one you know <laughs> i'm just pulling up a random one here but you'll find entries into the pronoun guides like well crap it keeps pop it get pop-ups on it give me one second i'm trying to get all the damn pop-ups pop-ups sometimes i do think though like are people with these pronouns like is this a massive joke is this a troll just to see like a 4chan troll to see how much people will accept so here's pronoun.page. Now, again, anybody can add these, but there's many other pages. So, and you, you can find videos uh, with uh, pronouns.page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My this pronouns are yet. roach roaches. Oh yeah. My and God, stop yeah, it. roach roaches roach self. See, it's there. It's like roach I think roach self. Is, yeah, roach self. <laughs> roach said roach would rather do it roach self. <laughs> roach self, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's going to change your tire? Roach self is. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I was Didn't you find pumpkin that. spice? Wasn't there a pumpkin spice? Yeah, yeah, self? yeah. So uh, I found that one. Actually, somebody so somebody mailed me, and they were like, "You know, the pronoun thing has gotten a little crazy." They were like, "You know, I respect people," and I was like, "Sure, you know, you want to be called whatever. I mean, that's fine. I don't give a crap what you call it yourself." Honestly, they were like, "But I think." Um, <laughs> I think that pumpkin spice is probably a little too far. I was like, you are I, not a cup of coffee. Yeah. I was like, what? So pumpkin spice gender. That's um, yeah, that's in the, the gender God. Now it has its own flag. Look, it's got a little it's pumpkin. It's got its own flag. Yeah. With a pumpkin. <laughs> are those bread sticks? <laughs> and no, they're cinnamon sticks. <laughs> uh. It's a xenogender, whatever that is. I don't even know what all that crap is. I'm just like, like I was saying, you know, I don't give a fuck what you call yourself. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want, no matter what I think about. I can laugh about it, but there is no world where I'm going to call you pumpkin spice or, you know, roach self. I'm not doing that. Dragon kin. I mean, <laughs> holy jeez. My response to that was so funny, though. I was like, you will call me roach self. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was funny because you were, you know, you were joking about it. And I was like, no, that that's real, Megan. That, oh, that I thought you were making that up. Oh, now I I'm, I'm disappointed in humanity again because it's real. <laughs> hmm. Well, what's bad is, I mean, I'm sure there's there's probably, if you look them up, there's probably some, well, I got a kid coming before I can say this. Uh -huh. what, what is that? A shark stool. A stool? What, what'd you bring a stool down here for? It fits. 
Yeah. Hey, you can't sit over there and listen. No, we can't do that. <laughs> no. Here, hey, no, yeah. baby. Hey, you cannot you listen about Roach Self. Yeah, you can't. She can't hear us at all. Right now. No, she can't. She can't hear no, me. No. no. Just to make sure everybody understands that. She can only hear yeah. me. Hey, you gotta go upstairs for a little bit, okay? Go get a are you want another chocolate meal, by the way? Are there any left? Um no. Are, are there cheese sticks left? Yes. Go grab some cheese sticks real quick. Okay. All right, go. <laughs> she's like, oh yeah, I need that. <laughs> she, she came out here with a stool. She's like, what? <laughs> I'm telling you though, the 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 guy. I'm, I mean, anything that's like negative, people have. I keep, I keep waiting to find out. You know, there's one that's like, you know, poop, poop self, or you know, <laughs> I'm like, these are things I call people. You know, if you if you call someone a cockroach, that's generally a an insulting thing. You know, it's not an identity you're supposed to want. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway, the ironic era, error, 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 error. There we error. Go. More vocal fry will solve this. The ironic error. <laughs> there we go. Which is way non waveable and non curable. Meant the court was literally, literally without authority to even consider Mr. Eckerd's request for Rule 26 sanctions. So he gives, blah, 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 and explaining, when a party fails to follow the strict notice and safe harbor requirements of the rule, a trial court literally, literally, got two literallys, lacks the power to impose Rule 11 sanctions. Quote, we must reverse the award of sanctions. I got the, cheese, oh, I got the cheese sticks back. All right, come here. Good Lord, how many cheese sticks did you bring? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It, it, it's actually, nine. I, yeah, <laughs> she actually counted them right. Good job counting. Hey, I just so many candies. Those aren't candies. Those are, those are, um, those are cough drops. I dropped the back of them. Those aren't candies. You do not want one of those. <laughs> I dropped a bag of can have cough drops over here. She's like, why are there so many candies? I was like, those aren't candies. You don't want those. <laughs> those are not going to taste good. Uh, they look like candies to that, me. Yeah, but you're, you're smart and you always ask, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because you're a smart girl. Yeah. I'm shot tail. What? I'm shot tail. You're sharp too, yeah. You are sharp. No, I'm strong. Oh, you're strong, strong. too. Strong. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm weak a little. You're weak a little. I'm That's weak. why you work out, though, right? Yeah. I'm weak. You've been flexing in karate, right? Yeah, I'm just flexing it out. Oh man, you should see her karate moves. They're amazing. They're amazing. Watching her oh, like. I bet. Watching her go after that. Uh, that karate dummy. Take those upstairs, and I'll keep these. So when you if, if, when you finish, if you want some more, you tell me, okay? All right, I'll see you a little bit. Love you. I have a lot of cheese in my. You head. do have a lot of. I love watching little kids do martial arts. It's great. <laughs> don't don't put don't eat all those at one time. Eat them one at a time, one at a time. Don't eat. Did you really open more. all nine of those? No, no, no. I gave her uh, <laughs> I gave her a couple. Okay. But, Take them up, the chat take them is upstairs. just checking. They're like, yeah. do not give her nine. No, no, sticks. no. I gave her, I gave her a couple, and then I told her <laughs> I'd keep the rest. You know, no, no. I, I know what the aftermath of that would be like. Oh, funny. <laughs> yes, uh, but <laughs> she, she loves cheese sticks. No, she, uh, she's the tiniest little kid. Like she looks just tiny but she eats like a garbage disposal <laughs> i mean she's eating all the time she just finished eating some That's ramen she's growing she's growing yeah. like crazy they she's need like, it she's like dad can you give me a pizza i was like i guess you know it is saturday i'll get a pizza oh this is funny you know you order a lot of pizzas sometimes so i order uh we were talking about pizzas the other day i order uh, a thin crust Chicken barbecue pizza. I like chicken barbecue pizzas, right? And I order it with extra cheese, extra, extra cheese. You know, I get a lot of extras. And it's it's a specific order. It's so specific that I ordered it through their app uh, for Papa John's. And Papa John's called me after I ordered today. And they were like, uh, yeah, um, 
you 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 call in the chicken barbecue pizza, right? Like, that's the one you order. And I was like, yeah. And they were they they said, well, did you mean to get that with uh with the thicker crust, whatever the, the name of theirs is? Because we noticed that. Don't you usually get thin crust? I was like, damn, I've ordered enough of these from you guys that you know how I want. Like, uh, yeah, I, usual. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down there and and tip that manager. You know? <laughs> I am. Yeah, because that lady, <laughs> she's like, yes, sir, I realize, like, you know, I order, <laughs> I realize that you want it with um, extra barbecue, extra three cheese. Yeah, you want, you want three cheese with extra, <laughs> extra, then you want regular cheese with extra, then you want extra <laughs> freaking <laughs> everything. That's how you make a fat pizza, though. And that's how you make it last for three, four days, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, that's anyway. Funny. Yes. If you guys can rant about pizza, I can tell you about my terrible habits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So t -t 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 lacks the authority, lacks the power. We must reverse the award of sanctions when the challenging party fails to comply with the safe harbor provisions, even when the underlying filing is frivolous. Emphasis added. <laughs> he did it again. Emphasis added. The law on this issue was and is so clear upon discovering the problem, undersigned counsel immediately asked to meet and confer with Mr. Woodnick to get his side of the story. Mr. Woodnick's initial response was extreme resistance and a refusal to concede that mistake. <laughs> oh, my God whining and freaking filing after filing same thing every time he gets shut down he just starts whining about it in a new filing <laughs> that yeah. caused that caused miss owens to incur significant additional fees drafting a motion to resolve rule 26 issue as a matter of law which, if filed, would have included a request for sanctions against mr Woodnick. none of this matters so again Greg withdrew the motion for sanctions because he didn't want to deal with this idiot. What the what the fuck does this have to do with eating lunch? <laughs> Nothing. And none of this makes it's moot. It is moot. There is no rule 26 issue anymore because Greg said, fine, I will withdraw my motion for sanctions so that I don't have to listen to you bitch about it anymore. Even though he probably had the proper, he had the right argument because this guy was threatening to appeal it even if the judge ruled in Greg's favor. But he's still like arguing this and it, it, it doesn't make any, it, it's moot. He went after, well, you know, him trying to sanction Woodnick for the filing. He's like, oh, it's so improper. We want sanctions against the lawyer. Really? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? <sighs> he wants to say, now, I mean, lawyers do get sanctioned. And in fact, Gingras has been sanctioned by the bar for drunk driving, which is something that the bar should sanction a lawyer for. Nobody is sanctioning lawyers because they didn't give a ten exactly a 10 day notice on a motion for sanction. That's not happening. That's not happening. Like it's literally not happening. That's just wasting time filing motions for sanction against an attorney for that. <laughs> Somebody said it's like a cow's opinion. It's moot. <laughs> 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 yes, that's exactly it. Yep, that's it. Uh, so that process, while admittedly not the friendliest experience, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. So you you want to have can you, you know you want to. So he admits talk. he was unfriendly to Greg. Ended with Mr. Woodnick withdrawing the deficient Rule Twenty Six motion on April Third, Twenty Twenty Four. This shows the meet, oh, I'm sorry, the conferral process can and does work. At the same time, did, wait, wait, here's a question. Didn't that have to happen by email then? No, they talked, I think he, they did talk on the phone. So they did talk on the phone. Yeah, he, he's a big liar, okay? <laughs> he's a big freaking liar like his client. They did talk on the phone. Hmm. So, so first, and he's admitting it here. Conferral process can and does work. Okay, and it was not a friendly experience. But anyway, also, it didn't work, sir. Greg gave up on his sanctions motion 
because you were threatening to cause him $35,000 in work. And he's already uh, in as, you know, up to as much as he wants to spend, I'm sure. Yeah. The, the, this, this case, like, look at all the, all the resets that you've had to have on it, all the different lawyers that have come in. And then after all of that clown car debacle, you, you have this crap popping off. I mean, it just keeps getting stupider and stupider every He's time. He's just trying to create more work for Greg, so he yeah. has to run up his billable hours and take his attention off of other cases that he's working on so that he becomes too much of a problem, and he thinks Greg's going to say, oh, fuck this, I'm out. Yeah, they're they're willing to drop, you know, okay, well, the pregnancy's over, therefore, you know? They well, even in, in one of his emails, he said... To Greg, does Clayton matter this much to you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he does, actually. You don't know this case, sir. Not only does Clayton matter to Greg, but Greg Gillespie matters to Greg, too. So does Mike Maricini. And so does Greg Woodnick. He matters to Greg. Because this woman went matter? after him. This woman went after him and accused him of kidnapping, graping, and drugging her. I mean, shouldn't your clients matter to you? Not to this guy, apparently. I mean, apparently, it, he thinks that you shouldn't care about your clients at all. Like that, it's something wrong with you if you care. You care. You care about him this much. You seriously care about Clayton this much? How well, dare you care? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, Greg Woodnick seems to be a decent kind of person. Yeah, I want uh, when I if I have a lawyer take on something, you know, that's that's going to be long haul. I want them to to be in it for the long haul, you know, and if, if they have the mindset that they don't care, I want to know about that too. You know, I think there should be more lawyer call outs. I think oh, more yeah. lawyers should get put on. Too, too few lawyers really care about their clients. There are a lot of lawyers out there like this guy who j they're just looking at numbers. They just want their paycheck and they don't really give a shit. Are you back? And that's again? a problem. Are you back again? Here, here, let me, let me throw a kiss to it. Put that on the leg. You said it hurts. Here's another one. Yep, there you go. You can put those on there. All right. Hey, go upstairs and play for a little bit, and then we can play the bullet game when I get done to die. Okay. We'll play three big rounds, okay? Yes. Yes, exactly. But you have to. Huh? we die. Yeah, we'll, we'll play three rounds. Even when we die, we'll play three rounds, okay? But you have to go upstairs and, and play for a while, okay? All right. She's like, heck yeah, I'll play three rounds of bullet game. Heck yeah. Some of those rounds, if we're doing really good, they can like 20, 30 minutes. They're long. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I say at the same time, meet and confer process is only effective and efficient when the lawyers can talk about issues in real time, either face to face or on the phone. This is why the rule expressly warns email communications cannot stand alone satisfy the duty to confer. The court should not tolerate Mr. Woodnick's refusal to comply with the rules. At the very least, if Mr. Woodnick is permitted to remain mute, the court should waive the requirements of Rule 9C for the remainder of the proceedings. I swear he has been hammering this and every, anything that gets dismissed, he still hammers this. <laughs> It's like, it, you know, when you tell somebody, no means no. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no means maybe. <laughs> it's like, no. All right. So discussion. A. Miss Owens has complied with her disclosure obligation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's brief. Rather, I'm, I need to channel the voice. I was going to read, but then it, we get to the stupid stuff. I just need the voice. <laughs> and is brief rather than addressing the merits of the problem. Oh my God, he he addressed it <laughs> like he went in detail, very detailed filing about the issues here. So saying that he is not addressing that. No, Mister Woodnick begins with a straw man argument. Holy crap! This is like debating somebody on Twitter. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yes. That's how he writes his motions. Like he's writing it for Twitter. My straw man. 
he sh- he says he should not be required to comply with Rule 9 because he claims Miss Owens has not produced the information required by the order granting Mr. Eckerd's motion to compel. This argument is both pointless and wrong. Well, that's fascinating considering um, the judge just said that she has to turn over a bunch of crap. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, it just happened. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. First, Mr. Woodnick's duty to confer exists independently of Miss Owens' duty to disclose information. <laughs> so even if she doesn't disclose any information, he still has to play ball with this guy. No, <laughs> no, no. He, and, he, and as we saw in Greg's responses, he said, I will be happy to sit down to lunch with you after you send me the disclosure that was ordered by the court. Then yeah. I'll sit down and talk to you. But not before then. And I don't see why that's unreasonable. I would sit down with this guy, <laughs> you know. I I wouldn't. I I, I would not appreciate the uh, the methods that he's he's tried to engage with. I mean, these are I've seen some shitty <laughs> shitty stuff done by lawyers, and this takes the cake, man. <laughs> no, I mean, this is above and beyond. So even if Miss, uh, o- I hate to inform you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that there has already been a clip of this show um <laughs> of me and you uh saying things that is the perfect advertisement for this show for for this uh for this topic you got to hear this pull up oh, what i'm yes. sharing with you <laughs> welcome to a recap of the tonsil twins <laughs> A recap, of the, a recap of the show we're on, man. This is some yeah. inception crazy. Oh, no. You don't like inhale that, no, right? No. You let it you let it roll back. It depends. You can you can let it roll back into your throat if you want to, all the way, you know, <laughs> depending on how far you're comfortable with. And that's how the tonsil twins were born. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we didn't even Lord. we didn't even we didn't even catch that at the moment uh, oh but thank you audience god. oh my god thank you audience uh for doing that thank yes, you yes i've, thank you, I've noticed people clipping the show you are welcome to clip the show by the way you have fun with it <laughs> you know i've had a couple people write and they're like hey can i man, we clip yes of course you know as long as you don't like upload my entire thing you know you can you can <laughs> If, if you're brave enough to sit down and want to review like hours of live stream in a live stream, I don't care. You know, it's just as long as you're not like <laughs> uploading the whole damn thing. It doesn't matter to me. And Julie goes, I literally stopped driving to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> That's we didn't even notice at the time that, that there was the double entendre. I, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about then. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you were talking about Laura's night of passion with Clayton. <laughs> Laying down and having tonsil twins. Like I said, <laughs> the one thing that I think everyone should have their tonsils removed. You know? <laughs> you can never be too safe. You know? I know, because I mean, yeah, it's got me worried. You know, it's not like uh, me and uh, me and a Clayton S guy are gonna. If that's your thing, that's fine. But it's not like me and a Clayton S guy are gonna, you know, sit down and do the dirty that way. But from apparently, I could just inhale something randomly, and it, you know, it could be anything flying around in the air. I hope not. That's gross. I mean, you know, I mean, pollen is tree sex, so you know, I mean, hey, oh, what else God. is flying around out here? <laughs> we have some tonsil tree babies. Yeah, that's what you know. <laughs> I let my sinuses. No wonder they're pissed off, cause Lord, they're, they're, that tree tried to lure Owens me. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm gonna go to the doctor next time. What's wrong? Well, a tree tried to lure Owens me. Help me. <laughs> Can you? I inhaled me? some pollen. And I'm afraid I'm pregnant. I was like, you know, when they're when they're taking your temperature, you know, or the mouth thermometer, you'd be like, is that a pregnancy test? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh my god you know that's what you need to do like get a pregnancy test like the next time you you know a pee one and just spit on it be like what are you doing <laughs> pregnancy test for mouth babies <laughs> That'd be amazing. licking the stick oh <laughs> <Licking the damn laughs> <thing. laughs> 
It, it comes back with a digital readout. It was like, it's like negative, but you are one gross mofo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got the gingivitis triplet. Like, How going dare on? you make fun of my pregnancy tests? How dare you make fun of the fact that I can pee positive on any pregnancy test in the world? I have high HCG for undisclosed reasons. And if my pregnancy test says pregnant, then I'm pregnant, damn it. <laughs> Who are you to tell me that I'm not pregnant? You weren't there when Clayton got his crusty Clayton's down there. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> By the way, totally none on top of you. Have you ever, um, have you ever, never mind. I was going to make some jokes <laughs> about landmarks and visiting, but no, Grand Canyon jokes, but I was like, no. <laughs> By the way, what do you think about tourist spots like the Grand Canyon? That's what I, uh, I have never been to the Grand Canyon. I only go to places that are very tight squeezes. <laughs> oh my god, we went to like we cave went... explorating, explorating, explo expo exploring, 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 anyway, spelunking. I go into very tight spaces. I'm only comfortable with tight spaces, and you would know that if you were ever inside there because. I haven't been with anyone for a year and I'm safe to have sex with because I'm already pregnant with mouth babies. Man, every few years I have to go places like Mammoth Cave. The next time I go to Mammoth Cave and I have to go through an area like Dead Man Squeeze, all this shit is going to be in my mind. I'll be like, oh, uh, no, <laughs> no. Ooh, Dead Man Squeeze. <laughs> that sounds like a place I would enjoy. <laughs> uh, the autopsy table. Lots of all. crevices. <laughs> to crawl around in and explore. <laughs> I never want to think of it as exploring. <laughs> <When you do. laughs> but you would want to explore things with me. <laughs> I have to yes, drop a guideline would. to get out. <laughs> You're like, no. You would want to explore with me. I'm the safest person to explore things with because I'm always pregnant. <laughs> pregnant all the time, pregnant here, pregnant there, pregnant everywhere. Yeah. Pregnant belly, pregnant mouth. <laughs> yeah, you're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only person you, you know. get together and have some cavern twins, a dead man squeeze. <laughs> cavern twins? <laughs> Shit. That was Margaret Ballinger in the chat. Thank you for that joke. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> it's not <laughs> mine. It's I'm all your gonna, fault. I'm never gonna freaking go to one of these places again. I'll never. Be able to. <laughs> would you like to visit Mammoth Cave? No, baby, I would. No, no, I would not. Bring a date. What is that? A threesome? I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> but it's tight down there. It's tight down there. I can assure you that it's tight down there. And wouldn't you like to explore those tight crevices with me? Oh, no. Uh, Colorado Canadian, thanks for the five, says, uh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of pregnancy <laughs> test? <laughs> Is it like a tootsie roll? <laughs> One. Well, I'll yeah. tell you. Well, I'll tell you. It takes exactly 18 licks and a little bit of HCG positive P. That's it. That's all it takes. I can show you how to do it. I mean, you already? could also go to fakeababy.com, but I'm not saying I did that. I'm just saying that you could. Is there a fakeababy.com? Fakeababy.com. Yes. You, you didn't know? Oh, my God. That's amazing. He's going to lose his shit when he goes to this website. Oh, my God. this is Let's do this live. I gotta do this oh, it's right so here. bad. It's so oh bad. God. Oh, God. I got to look at this. Okay. It's I so just bad. pulled it up. There are fake moon bumps and everything. Oh, Jesus. Well, this is amazing. Don't give away my secrets. <laughs> Fake it, baby. The best gag gift. <laughs> Mouth jokes and gag gifts. Oh, it makes itself. But they're not actually fake. They're real. Once you get them in the mail, <laughs> they're real. They're yours to keep forever. Only $9.99. Man, somebody order one of these and send it to me. <laughs> I'm going to fake it. I'm going to fake a little umbrella, baby. 
put a little face on it. Actually, yeah. So, <laughs> somebody, somebody doctored me a somebody doctored me a sonogram and put a little umbrella face on a fetus. I, I want that. Don't put. <laughs> General Tugger Knot, are you listening? We need a yeah. uh, we need a sonogram with an umbrella face. Custom fake ultrasound. You can customize it. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's amazing. I don't know why you're so shocked by this. Millions of women depend on fakeababy.com every year to trap a man. Look at that. There's nothing That's even wrong got the 3D with ultrasound. <laughs> Getting your man, ladies. Get your man. Whatever it takes. <laughs> I was trying to link through the the freaking. Uh. There's even fake tits on here too. Fake titties. No, no I'm joke. Gonna, give me one thing. I'm gonna view all. Let's see what's all here. There's fake, view all. fake baby bumps. Good God, this is. I amazing. may or may not have gotten a fake belly from fakebaby.com. Maybe. Holy crap. There's fake medicine for your, while well, you're pregnant too, so you can leave it laying around and pretend. This is insanity, man. Oh, God, that's so awful. Why is it awful? Some of us want to be mothers. <laughs> it we reminds me of that. Choice. It reminds no me of that woman actually, that uh, no one will actually fuck us. You remember so that woman that, that married mothers. a doll? Did you see the woman that married a doll and had all the little doll babies she made? No. Oh god. <laughs> it reminds me of that. You know, some of us want to be a mother. Oh Lord. Mm -mm -mm. This is terrible, man. I wonder how many lives places like this have. Uh, look at that oh, look. personalized fake proof of pregnancy document. I wonder what it looks like. I wonder what the document is. Give me a second. Can Let you me... hit view product yeah. and see what it is? That's what I'm doing. I'm pulling it up. Date of tail. Okay. Here we go. Give me a second. <laughs> Nancy I, I, McCarthy I, says fake lawyer included $99.99. <laughs> fake lawyer. <laughs> so here's your fake a baby. It comes with. Oh, does it look like any of her docs? I love how it says Jane Doe. It says Jane Doe on it. <laughs> so it, it has date of collection. I wonder, can you fill one of these out? Will it make me a copy? <laughs> it will. I mean, will it make me a sample? I don't know. Oh, my God. If it will, <laughs> I'll do one live, you know? Uh, I wonder if we can make a fake pregnancy test. Let me see if there's a fake pregnancy test. Guy, like, oh, yeah. There's fake a fake pregnancy test. Proof of pregnancy creator. I wonder if there's one online, though. I can just make one. Fake pregnancy papers. Fill out online. Jesus, there's a lot of this stuff. Here's some PDF files. I just wanted one I could fill out, and it could make me, you know, it could make me pregnant while I'm on here. You know? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> You could get pregnant while filling out that document. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, what has happened? The document Laura Owens to me. Oh, you can get high quality too? The chat says fake. Twisted Life says faking a pregnancy live. Oh, I have a, oh, new, dude, button. I can I get have one. a new button. I have a new button for that. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. <laughs> We could do it. We actually, you could do this live, and it will set up the HCG values and everything. Check this shit out. This no is crazy. way. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It, you know, obviously, obviously, she didn't use this. Website. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, there's so First many of them. Looked... So this is baby, maybe. <laughs> this is another site. Oh <laughs> you know, God. I mean, it's the same thing. Because hers but... didn't look like this. That's how she got busted. Because hers didn't look like this. Why but it didn't comes I with... know about these sites? Damn it! Comes with name. Look, here's the HCG values. Yeah. So it, it tells you, you know, it's telling you how long. Please enter a single number for the range indicated that best represents how many weeks you want to be for your fake pregnancy. Oh my God. So if you wanted to be 17 weeks, you should put something Preview in there like design. Holy like 10,000. Yeah, me a do I'm, it. Yeah, I'm going to just give me one second. I'm going to see if it actually makes what I'm typing in. That's what I, I can't believe you're giving away my secrets to the world. This is this is anxiety inducing. Let me check here. I have anxiety over the roof. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> For those of you wondering, yes, I got my buttons back. 
I had to, um, what happened was this, what had happened was the stream deck got, uh, like blown out somehow. I don't know. I don't know if it had an encounter with Laura Owens or what, but the stream deck went dead and all my buttons disappeared. So I had to re-import the backup, but the backup didn't have my new buttons, but the new buttons were on voice mod. So I just had to transfer them back over today and I got all my buttons back, including this one, which is my favorite. It's one of my favorites. I like the national anthem. And then I added a couple of new ones. I got this one now. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. That's okay, a good so one. Let's see. Customizing. Hmm. What is our Should date I? of birth? Hmm. All right. Patient date of birth. <laughs> Patient name, that umbrella guy. Yep. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting mine on. And uh, let's see. Date of birth. Um, oh. eh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, one, 11, 20, 11. No, wait, that made me 10. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to be at least 20. 1911. Well, no, no, wait, not 20. wait, not 21. 1911. <laughs> there. I'm old enough to have a baby now. That would be 110 <laughs> or something. Date specimen was collected today. That would be 04, 13, 20, 24. Date specimen was entered does that mean entered into my body or entered into the lab it says this is the date that the lab entered the specimen into their system this will oh, typically be... be the same day or the next day from when it was collected okay so we'll do it the same day okay date it was reported same day jesus this is a lot of work man i'm not just so i'm gonna <laughs> ordering physician uh dr, dr. higley Me no dr, dr. <laughs> megan fox <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. What is that? Let's see. Pope, Pope Umbrella Guy Boulevard. Way. B L B D. Boulevard. Yeah. Vatican City. <laughs> Vatican City. Vatican. <laughs> Vatican. <laughs> oh, well, typo. Who cares? That doesn't matter. All right. How? How pregnant are we going to be in here? How, let's do 17 weeks pregnant. 17 so how about you put weeks. in, um, no, you don't know. The HCG value oh. needs to be like. Oh, 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 oh my bad. Let's so seven. 120,000. Do 121, okay. no, 121,000. 121, 121. Can you put <laughs> there, like, 121? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. You have three too many numbers. No, I wanted a point 121. You can, oh, you, oh, you wanted a point. Up. Yeah, I oh, wanted I to round up. You can right. do that, I guess. Let's see. Right, Give me a second. Preview. I'm gonna pull it. Preview. I'm gonna pull it up. Like I'm just making sure it doesn't autofill some weird shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're like, oh yeah, it's sending it to my real address. Thank you, <laughs> Doctor Megan. You didn't keep this confidential. All right. So here is my. Oh my god. Ring. Oh my god. Look, I'm born in 1911. <laughs> my ID. Was I fasting? No. No. Uh, specimen details. Physician, Dr. Megan Fox. You work at Ann Lab. <laughs> <laughs> Information, Pope Umbrella Guy. Boulevard, Vatican City, Vatican. Yeah. Vac a tan. Vac a tan, whatever. Vac a tan. <laughs> Vac a tan Boulevard. <laughs> Here's our uh, your analysis. What color is my pee? It is yellow. Yellow. Mm, it yellow. Is yellow. It's very yellow. PH. Oh man. There's my. Is all my level. I can't believe this exists and I didn't know it. This I document. I had a document that looked this good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is a real document. I do not know what you all are talking about. I got this from my doctor like five weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just showing you the proof. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> Um, if you're watching this right now, if you would like to, please super chat because I've got a rear two new babies. <laughs> Obviously, this is it's twins. How do I know? I just I know it says it. You didn't read it because you know you don't read. You're a pleb. I'm gonna have David translate it for you. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's so I totally good. forgot. I totally forgot what we were doing. We were going over a document. 
<laughs> yeah, we were. That's what we were doing. But then we decided to be fake pregnant. It's okay. Uh, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Sometimes. Fake Some... pregnancy happens. Hey, that's my truth. Justice my for fake truth. pregnancies. Hashtag my truth. All pregnancies matter, even the fake ones. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody put in there, you know, the sad thing is if I posted that, there are people in the world now that would believe and be like, you know, that's stunning and brave. I'll be like, it's something. All right. It is something. I'm going to post that. You need to. I am. Say you're pregnant. I'm pregnant. Holy shit. <laughs> Dr. Megan Fox. I'm trying to make sure I get the. Okay. I'm going to put this, you know, coming live from the hat rack. <laughs> Live from oh, the hat rack. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm posting it right now. Give me a second. Give me a second. I gotta oh, man. All right, there's the clip of it. You know, shocking. <laughs> I just found out live <laughs> that <laughs> I am pregnant <laughs> with triplets. Triplets. Uh, <laughs> Larry Sieben says, well, there goes the six-pack tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. If I had six babies, actually, you know, they could be like that six-pack for six packs. That's not what I meant. You know? Uh, hashtag my truth. <laughs> hashtag Dr. Megan Fox. <laughs> uh, and is, if, once you tweet it, I'll certify it. Okay. <laughs> I certify that this is true. <laughs> uh, coming live from the hat rack. <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> I'm pretty no, the shenanigans, the shenanigans oh around God. here are too good. I Triplets, you you have outdone oh. Laura Owens. Why didn't well, I think of that? Why didn't I think of triplets? There we Damn go. It. it has been, it has been posted to Twitter. <laughs> it has. I couldn't post the whole thing because we couldn't see it. So <laughs> here we are. Make sure that you like. See, look at that. Shocking. <laughs> I just found out live that I'm pregnant with triplets. Coming live from the hat rack. Hashtag my truth. Hashtag Dr. <laughs> Megan Fox. <sighs> can't believe it <laughs> man <sighs> that is crazy dr <laughs> megan you break in the news all the time <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus you know somebody like like in a year from now they're gonna be like that umbrella really guy's such a monster did you know that time when he faked pregnancy he did it for he said it for the super chatters. You're like, what? The super chatter? Yeah, I want that. <sighs> All right. Ugh. I am uh I am posting it out on on Twitter <laughs> that I have verified that this is a hundred percent true. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <sighs> what did this happen? <laughs> It was all those damn trees and the pollen. <laughs> that tree pollen uh, knocked you up. Uh, I gotta read the comments. Let me see what people say. <laughs> hashtag triplets. Hashtag live. <laughs> hashtag those umbrella triplets. <laughs> Congratulations! Glad to see the pond scum posse is growing. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred thirteen year old pickle gets pregnant with triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! You know what's funny is people people see the stuff we put in our you know they they're not part of our live streams and they're like, what in the hell are these people doing? <laughs> I, I know. Uh, I mean. Uh, I get me emails sometimes. I know because I just put out the other day. I just put out hashtag yuck. <laughs> And I wonder if my boss is like, the hell is she talking about? <laughs> like I said, now I have to take care of three new babies. So if you would hit that like button, 
Make sure you subscribe and send the super chatters, please. Because the Roach Croach Posse, whatever the fuck we call this week, Pond Scum Posse. Pond Scum Posse. <laughs> it is growing. I'm going to have to buy a new lily pad to put the little Pond Scummies on. It's, <laughs> it's rough. It's rough. Oh, I'm going to have to think of new names. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are going to have to name them. We're going to have to name the uh, the the new pond scum triplets. Tugs triplets. <laughs> Tugs triplets. That would have been a good <laughs> hashtag to add. <laughs> oh my god! Everybody, yeah, let's do that. Let me let me add a hashtag. Tugs triplets. Let me put that underneath. I could redo it. You know, <laughs> I might. We'll put that underneath. Actually, as a comment. Tugs triplets. You know? I'm gonna put a hashtag. Hashtag Tug Triplets. Hashtag, hashtag Tug Triplets. Tug Triplets. <laughs> People are doing hashtag, like the actual hashtag, two of those. Hashtag, hashtag. Pons yeah, that's what I'm doing. Posse. Hashtag, hashtag. <laughs> oh my God. I'm waiting to, like I said, I'm waiting for all the comments to come in. You know, <laughs> so I was like, you're insane. Yeah, I think I peed a little. Well, you too, if you're you're peeing right now, you too could be pregnant. You could you be pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, like a pregnancy test. That's how I found out about it. I actually thought it was a popsicle. <laughs> I licked it and it said totally pregnant. That's what it is. It didn't say pregnant. It said totally that's what we need. We need we we need a vocal fry pregnancy test when it's like <laughs> bummer and totally. Oh my you God. speak into the mic and it tells you if you're pregnant uh, or not. Oh, that'd be amazing. I, I just when you when you lick it, like instead of having stripes come up, it just says totally, or it says bummer. You know how those magic eight balls used to have words roll up in them? That's how it yeah. would be. Just like a magic eight ball. <laughs> Oh my God, a magic eight ball that talks about, I need to get a magic eight ball so I can ask it about my pregnancy. I could name my kids with it. Mm. What are the kids' names? Uh, yeah. <laughs> tugs triplets. Hashtag tugs. Tugs gherkins. Tugs triplets. Oh my God. Did DUI guy tell you all about the thank you note? No. What am uh -oh. I missing? What thank you no, note? Ray Mail said something about, no, I don't know what that is. What's that about? I don't know, but all this pickle talk really makes me want to have a pickle. I feel like eating pickles now all of a sudden. Oh, that is cannibalism. <laughs> you stay away from my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As the spokesperson for pickle you. Yes. Megan, <laughs> just now, that was a threat, you know. And we pickles do not appreciate that. Uh, in fact, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask an actual source about this. What do you think, Prop that umbrella guy? Excommunicated. That's what I think. Excommunicated. That's what you get. You're out of here. Shit. And I all know. the work I've done fighting off demon spirits. Your your medical license is gone, Doctor. <laughs> I only had a medical license for like a half an hour. Damn. <laughs> you know, it was the best time ever. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Christine Schmidt says Tug's talk of getting pregnant has now made Megan pregnant. <laughs> so I'm craving pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. My doctor for her my pregnancy has made her want to commit cannibalism. That is <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see what else is here <laughs> I'm I keep just hearing weird picture. noises in my office no one is home why do I hear weird noises did I ever tell you about the haunted house I moved into don't tell me about it now because I'm hearing weird noises I'll check this out so I, I moved into no I was, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will not listen. La, la, la. oh it's perfect it's perfect I don't so want to hear about it oh you want to hey Chad no I don't hear about You're the haunted scare house me because yes I keep no. hearing things. one for yes or no <laughs> chat don't you dare did you say one for yes and one for no <laughs> is 
that what you said? <laughs> Heads I win, tails you lose. Is that what you said? Heads I win, tails you lose. That's how it is. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm going to beat you with a fucking <laughs> hammer. <laughs> I'm going to beat you with a pregnancy test. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to beat you with a, with a pickle. <laughs> Look, everybody. I mean, it's unanimous. It's unanimous. Yeah, because you said one for yes and one for no. <laughs> the ones have it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. No, but for real, like when I was a kid, whew, we moved into this house. It was in Smyrna, Tennessee. The house outside reminded me of uh, one of the... Uh, the Amityville Horror Houses, you know, and it was oh, on a great. it was on a road called Amityville Road. So I was like, "That's great." But when we we pulled up, it was a, uh, I mean, it's old. I was like over a hundred years old. It had a a foundation stone. You know, people had uh, put all their information in, and this house was ancient. It looked like an inverted L, and I had this big porch, and it had there was one part of it that had been built on and this matter is later on. It just goes straight up <laughs> you know? and you're like, why, why is that there? So you walk in and walk in, you go through a screened in porch, you walk into the dining room. And if you take an immediate right, you go into the master bedroom. Now off the master bedroom, there was a door to the right. And this door was crazy because it had, it was a huge thick door, but it had um, kick down locks on the floor. So it had two locks that push into the floor so it can't move. It has double locks on it and it has locks that push into the ceiling. So it has what? six locks on the door. Yes. And it's locked from the, it's locked from the outside. So it's to keep something in <laughs> and there's no entrance because it goes upstairs. Okay. And when we, when we go into this attic, it was the creepiest place I've ever seen. We went up there It had a, an old mirror that just sit right uh, and it had a uh, it had a rocking chair by it it had like boxes of like old woman clothes and it was just creepy so this was back when you know tvs were gigantic you know the old tv like yeah. you only have one tv in the house because they're so big well they had it in the master bedroom and i was sitting there and we had a, a big dog at the time and my parents were calling somewhere i don't remember but i kept hearing something right above me because addicts right above me i kept hearing this this sound that's like thump 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 i was like man that sounds like that okay, i'm noping chair. out of this story i'm noping out <laughs> i don't like it i don't like it i said i wasn't gonna like it and i'm home alone damn you well after that's going my dog starts looking at it you know i'm thinking man i'm not imagining that so dog's looking at the ceiling too and all of a sudden i hear boom it sounds like that thing falls over <laughs> oh. and then suddenly something <laughs> comes from the no, this is an evil dad. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. No, but from there, like, no shit. I'm not making this up. From there, I hear, like, what sounds like movement across, slowly across the floor. <laughs> and it it doesn't stop. It goes to the steps. The dog, by the time it gets toward the steps, the dog's standing up, hair up, looking at the door, growling. And it goes all the way down, like it's settling down all the way to the door. And it stops right at the door. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. I wish. I wish it was bullshit. <laughs> I wish. And then I was attacked by wolves and killed. <laughs> <laughs> that that last part may be an embellishment. <laughs> I like telling my, my kids would be like, tell me a story from when you were younger. I'll be like, yeah, there was this time I, I, I owned an apartment. And, you know, I'll go through this big long story about how I went outside to take out the trash and these wolves, they were there. And then, you know, I get to the end. I'm like, yeah, and the wolves attacked me and they tore me apart and killed me. The end. <laughs> My kids yeah. like that didn't happen. You know, I'm like, it's a true story. <laughs> that true story. Oh. Okay. Anyway, let's let's finish this document. I don't Come like on. creaky houses. Well, don't don't worry. You know, if if it's something, if if it's haunted, maybe you can make a deal with it. Be like, hey, can you get some of the housework done? You know, chase off intruders. You know, <laughs> I'm like, I'm the best. You know, somebody else is going to move in afterwards. That you know, and if it's abandoned, they're going to tear your house down. So you know, Specter, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Yeah. <laughs> let's get along. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm like, you have your own room or whatever. Up. Oh, speaking of kids, they they heard me and they appear. <laughs> hey, hey what's taking so long what's taking so long well we were i was telling them the story about that time that uh that i was eaten by wolves oh. yeah oh oh yeah yeah do you remember that yeah it was the time did you know i got attacked by wolves and eaten alive and that was the end of me
You knew that? Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> and that was the end of me. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a few a few more and we'll be done. Okay. I go can't upstairs. Sit right here. No, you can't listen to this live stream tonight. Oh, come my ears. No, you can't just cover your ears. <laughs> She's like, I'll cover it. What if I put earmuffs on? No, we'll play a bullet game. We'll play four rounds. I'll add one more round since you've been so good, okay? Um, but you have to go upstairs. Um, I've been good upstairs. I, I know. Freedom. Okay, I'll add I'll add an extra round and we'll play, okay? Yes. All right, yeah, that's what you want. I, that's what I figured. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. Like yep, I know. <laughs> you look like a statue. Huh? A statue. Do you look like a statue? Yeah. Yeah, you do look like a statue there. Yeah, you're going to fall doing that. Don't do that. You're going to fall. All right, go upstairs for a minute. Love you. Say love you. Love you, Boo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Aw. Okay. We got to finish this document. <laughs> we have to I finish know. this document. We have to finish. Okay. The law on this was, and is so clear, upon discovering the problem, undersigned counsel immediately asked for a meet to confer. Let's see. We hit this part, didn't we? Did we actually hit this part? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember where was uh, that? I think we yeah, got, wait. I think we did this part. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, got yeah, down, we got worked. down to the bottom of page three. Yeah, we're here. We're here. I'm going to say is. we're here. This court should not tolerate Mr. Woodnick's refusal to comply with the rules. At the very least, if Mr. Woodnick is permitted to remain mute, the court should waive the requirements for Rule C for the remainder of the proceedings. Discussion. Oh, yeah, we, we did this part. That we were in uh, because, oh, well, it doesn't matter because it exists independently. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we were right mm -hmm. here. Even if Miss Owens was derelict in her disclosure duties, which she was absolutely is not, by the way, Megan Fox, no matter what you say, <laughs> is not <laughs> looking at you, Dave Neal. <laughs> that, that would not give Ms. Woodnick free reign to ignore other rules of the proceeding. Second, the order granting the motion to compel was not filed until yesterday. April 10th, 2024, and it states Miss Owens was not required to produce any information until April 18th, 2024. Thus, Miss Owens' disclosure is not even due yet. Wait. So she absolutely complied with everything, but it doesn't matter because she hasn't done it because she's not even due to do it. Uh-huh. You see how that works? You see how that works? She has complied, but she doesn't really need to comply until whenever. Even though the court has ordered her to comply? Really? Uh, by the way, you can share your triplets. I have an exciting sonogram of Tug's triplets to share. Now, everybody get ready. You're gonna. It's going to be a big collective. Aww. Here we go. You ready? Three. This is an unveiling. Two. One. <laughs> oh, man. Aww. Oh my God! Look at them. Oh, look at the triplets. They're at so cute. They are. They're so cute. I bet they're all they're all future rappers. <laughs> oh look, baby. Oh hey, oh, the little one just came back down the steps. Look at the babies. Aren't they cute? Look. <laughs> Don't they look just like me? Yeah. They do. Yeah, but they wear masks. Yeah, that's my mask. They look just like me. <laughs> Oh, man. What should we name them? Should we name them? Um, what's, uh, what's, name, what's the one at a time name them? The uh, other one and now the other one. Oh, yeah. We'll name them one at a time. Yeah, that'd be smart, actually. The yeah. other one mm -hmm. next to the other baby. Maybe uh, name my uh, We'll name the first one. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Maybe we'll put up a poll to have people name them. That'd be cool, right? The The audience can help us name them. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Hey, go upstairs for a baby. Hey, can you handle the thing for one minute? I got a yeah. situation for just a second. Okay. I'll be right back. Sure, I can. And do you want me to leave that up or pull it down? <laughs> you can pull it down and I'll, okay. I'll keep it. Hey, you want me to pull up that doc document for Put me. the document back up and I'll read it. Okay, Megan. You actually won't be able to scroll, though. I know. I won't be able to scroll. That's true. But I have it so I can read it. Okay. I'll just find yes. it on, on my computer. Okay. I'll be right back. It won't take me long. All right. Okay. All right. Where were we? Where were we? 
blah, 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 strongly worded remarks do not excuse the duty to confer. In his brief opposing the request for lunch, Mr. Woodnick cites a handful of emails and online comments from the undersigned. In effect, his argument is, Gingras said mean things to me. I don't like it, so I should not have to talk to him. <laughs> to be fair, Mr. Woodnick is correct, but only partially. Some degree of invective exists in some emails exchanged between counsel and in some online comments, few, if any, of which were actually directed to Mr. Woodnick. That much is true. This guy. But Tug has to read that, so we won't go any further. because Tug actually, is back. Because you have to read this part. I couldn't, I couldn't go on without you because, actually, this is so funny. You have to read it. So I will shut up and let but you read it. The strongly worded part? Is that where we're at? Yeah. Like this part? Okay. In his briefing, uh, in his brief opposing the request for lunch, Mr. Woodnick cites a handful of emails and online comments from the undersigned. In effect, his argument is, Gingras said mean things to me. I didn't like it, so I should not have to talk to him. <laughs> Wait a minute. So saying mean things is okay? Remember that. Coming straight from the lawyer. Mm -hmm. Saying... Saying mean things is totally okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. Great argument. I love it. To be fair, Mr. Woodnick is correct, but only partially. So he's correct. He did say mean things. Awesome. Some degree of invective exists. <laughs> <laughs> some, some degree. Some degree. Some of degree. Some. Mm, I mean, must be pretty bad. <laughs> must be pretty bad for him to admit there's some degree of invective. I mean, you know, when you when you think about that again, invective. You know, when you think about the um, the definition, you know, you're talking about insulting, abusing, <laughs> abusive, or highly critical language. I mean, that's the <laughs> insulting or abusive. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, there's some degree of insulting and abusive exists in some of the emails exchanged between counsel and some online comments, few if any, of which were actually directed at Mr. Whitney. No, they were directed at us. Yeah, <laughs> that much is true. Well, it doesn't say they're not directed at him. And, you know, with it, it it's pretty much directed at everybody, right? Mm -hmm. We're... We're all scumbags. We're all cockroaches scurrying for that money. Pond scum. Pond scum, baby. Wait to read their obituaries and throw them in the trash where they belong. You know, join the club. There's a lot of people that are going to probably dance on my grave when I die. You know, I mean, I yeah, you're not you're not special, David. Exactly. I have people that actually matter that want to dance on my grave. So <laughs> you have at is, least at least one Hollywood starlet. Oh man. <laughs> all their friends, all the people <laughs> that pretend to be their friends. Plus uh, you know, I'm sure there's quite a few people in Warner. <laughs> Warner, it's funny. Uh, everybody would cover like specific items from Warner. If I put up anything uh, that has like trailer material or anything, anyone else, you know, there'd be hundreds of people covering it. Mine. Oh, they claim it every time. I was, it happened so often. I was asking other people, I was like, did you get that claim? They're like, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. Nobody else did, but you did. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, they've dedicated an intern to me. You know, <laughs> you got your own intern. So that's Fantastic. awesome, man. Coming straight out the intern. <laughs> what is missing from Mr. Woodnick's objection is context. Although he provides copies of emails buried in his 60 plus pages of exhibits and selectively quotes a few choice examples, Mr. Woodnick never explains to the court why these strongly worded remarks were made. Because the point is key to understanding the undersigned's unusually strong tone <laughs> uh, uh -huh. unusually he never does this normally <laughs> being mean rude argumentative for no reason is one thing being mean rude argumentative for a good reason is entirely 
different. Thank you. That's my argument. I'll, I'll remember to quote this if you decide to sue some people, you know, because you, <laughs> you make their point. It makes our point. Since Mr. Woodnick fails to offer any context, this apply will do. Here's the genesis of the problem. There is a clear and compelling proof Mr. Woodnick lied in his to the court in the motion to compel. That is a serious allegation. So let's look at exactly what that claim is based on. Oh my God, man. This sounds like some internet teenage shit. I'm sure a judge is like, uh-huh. In the motion to compel, March 11, 2024, Mr. Woodnick accused Ms. Owens of essentially ignoring Rule 49 disclosure obligations. Specifically on page six of the motion, Mr. Woodnick made the following representation to the court. Petitioner has willfully and wantonly failed to disclose information pursuant to Rule 49. So you can see, you know, and it says about the status conference, uh, Petitioner provided minimal disclosure after evading any compliance for over eight months. Emphasis. Mm -hmm. Emphasis. Yeah. <laughs> I had to hit my cigar there. Coming straight out of the cigar. Oh, wait. I got to stop saying that with everything. <laughs> As previously explained in Ms. Owens' motion, seeking additional time to respond to motion to compel when he was first retained by Miss Owens, undersigned counsel did not have a complete copy of Miss Owens' file and thus was not in the position to directly respond to Mr. Woodnick's allegations regarding disclosure. Unfortunately, this court denied the undersigned's request for additional time, resulting in the motion to compel being granted essentially by default, that allowing a fool or any response. He's whining about the judge decision. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Yeah, he's whining that the judge denied him too fast. They sent me that uh, triplet picture too, by the way, while we're sitting here. So <laughs> while I'm reading, because I'm going to post that in a minute too. Okay. Be like, oh uh, my God. General, Dr. that came Megan. from that came from General Tuggernaut, by the I'm gonna way. I'm going to be like Dr. Megan and Dr. General Tuggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> they have been working together and they have they have gotten the ultrasound. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> Megan. I cannot believe the things that happen in these live streams, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> oh I love live streams. I love to live stream. It's too fun. Let me see how many likes my announcement has gotten me, by the way. <laughs> Mm. Oh, you, you yourself have gotten 63. Make sure to get that to 69. <laughs> Man, I've gotten 123 likes. God, it's gotten almost 4,300 views. How many, <laughs> many people out there thinking I'm pregnant? There's going to be at least a, a handful who are yeah. going to believe this. Oh, my God. I'm going to post my triplet picture real quick. I've got to. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. Let's see. Shocking. Er. <laughs> I'm gonna put shocking er. Er, shocking er. Yeah, I put it. I put shocking, and then I put a dash er. Doctor Megan Fox <laughs> and Doctor. I'm gonna call him Doctor G T. That way, because you need a Doctor Gen T. That sounds good. <laughs> Doctor Gen T. Dr. Jen T have um <laughs> have leaked, <laughs> leaked. <laughs> the ultrasounds, yes. <laughs> the ultrasounds of hashtag tug slit triplets. Tugs <laughs> triplets. So yes, the cat. Or at the cat, all three of them are out of the bag. <laughs> you know, you got pregnant while we were reading David Gingras's motion. I think that means he's the father, and I think we should go after him for child support and paternity. Oh my God. <laughs> Immediately. This will be the first case of, you know, well, you heard about the bullet straight to the testicles. I mean, this was like when reading it was like an e bullet straight into his testicles. And I think it um, smacked my microphone. Sorry. About that. 
Megan is so crazy. She's smacking around her microphone. <laughs> I have to pop off. My kids are going to be home any second. And okay. uh, I promise to watch a movie. Okay. All with right. Them. Well, so I'm gonna I hate to leave this party, but you'll get through it without me a lot I'll faster. I'm sure. Oh, it's been fun, Megan. <laughs> yeah, been we will, funny, uh, as always, we will have a, a fun time next week. There is a big event coming up, even bigger than the baby reveal. It's true. Um, it's true. Yes. It's my birthday. That's right. So we will have a stream on Dr. Megan Fox, PhD. <laughs> PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put that Dr. Megan Fox, PhD. <laughs> <laughs> okay but we will have a we will have a stream for real and it will be fun it will be on megan's channel and tuesday night we'll do birthday stream my birthday is yes. actually on monday but i can't stream monday night so birthday stream tuesday night oh, all right get out of here go visit your family right. see ya watch out for those ghosts <laughs> Uh, all right. She jumped off before I got to do the ghost call out. All right, let's let's read the rest of this. <clears throat> I'm a professional. I posted that, by the way. <laughs> of course, the truth always comes out in the end. Miss Owens, former counsel, Corey Keith, finally provided a copy of Miss Owens' file to the undersound on Tuesday. April 2nd, 2024, due to the massive size of the file, 10 plus gigabytes, the file took approximately an hour to download. You, what kind of email do you have? If you can't download a, oh my God, man. Like, I mean, seriously, like, you need to get a better internet provider. I mean, if you're in the city and it's taking some time like that, out in Podunk, you know, I can... I could knock down like 10 gigabytes pretty damn quickly. <laughs> anyway, literally, here's another literally. There's three. Literally, while the file was downloading, this court denied Ms. Owens' request for an extension on 5.01 p.m. April 2nd, 2024, before undertime counsel had any opportunity to review materials provided by Mr. Keith. <laughs> the names Nug, Pug, and Hug. <laughs> what in the world? We're going to have to have some. Oh, my God. Tug's triplets. Third trimester. Oh, man. They're totally so cute. Those babies, by the way. Mm. Let me put my babies on my. Uh... Let me get these babies on here real quick. Just a second. I've got to fix something. I mean. I know I'm lording over the the place with my um with my pope hat, but my babies need some representation on this stream. So let me let me get them set up as my avatar. This will only take a minute. Just one moment, please. You have no idea. Oh, there they are. Though they're so cute. Look at them. They're all hanging out. There we go. Now I've fixed all the problems here. Perfect. It is perfect. Now we will continue. What Mr. Woodnick failed to tell the court and what undersigned counsel did not know at the time is that Mr. Woodnick representations were knowingly false. Contrary to Mr. Woodnick's representations, Mr. Keith did in fact de provide a detailed rule disclosure Statement, February 23rd, 2024, before the motion bail was filed. Oh, my. Look, there's a document. Petitioner's initial disclosure statement. We'll testify to, but did they actually put anything in there that's that's useful besides uh, circling a date? <laughs> Having now reviewed the files from Mr. Keith, it is clear Mr. Woodnick lied to this court when he claimed that Miss Owens, quote-unquote, evaded her Rule 49 disclosure obligations and has refused to provide any disclosure for, quote-unquote, over eight months. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh, man. Now we know why Mr. Woodnick would not agree to the voluntary extension of time. He was trying to hide this fact from the court and from underside counsel. Oh, my God. So here's an elaborate conspiracy that's being noted. The reason he wouldn't allow a time disclosure was because he was going out of his way to hide that specific doc. My God, man. <laughs> this is insanity. I mean, going after someone's reputation, they're good, man. That, that's absolute insanity that we read. Again, this is a person that wants you to sit down and have good faith discussions with them, right? This also explains why a conferral certificate attached to the motion was so vague. It suggested that Mr. Woodnick talked about disclosures with Mr. Keith on February 2nd, February 24th, just days before. Miss Owen's disclosure was served. The conferral certificate also references a single email sent on March 8, 2024, requesting a meet and confer without any further in-person follow-up as the rule requires. So he didn't want to talk to me in person or on the phone. No chit-chat. No chit-chat. What do you all think would be a great name for the babies, by the way? Like I say, if you love Tug's triplets, Think about the poor triplets here. Make sure that you're subscribed. Because, I mean, look at these cute little babies. You must be subscribed. <laughs> Share the stream. <laughs> oh. This also explains why the conferral certificate attached to the motion was so vague. It suggests Mr. Woodney talked about disclosures with Mr. Keith on February 2nd. February 21st, just days before Ms. Owen's disclosure was served. The conferral certificate also references a single email sent March 8th, 2024, requesting a meet and confer without any further in person. Blah, blah, blah. I think I hit that twice, my bad. Upon seeing this information, undersigned counsel was shocked and, to be candid, pretty angry. So he was saying, so the reason he's been like he has online is because, oh my God. That reason, a lawyer who that who lies that specifically and that willfully is is rivally subject to verbal criticism, if not significant other professional consequences. That is a threat. Look at that. That is just a straight up threat. A lawyer who lies that specifically and that willfully is rightly subject to verbal criticism, if not significant other professional consequences. That is straight up a threat. Like, how could that be anything else? Thug, chug, and plug. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Holy God, some of these are funny. <laughs> Tugly, fugly, and ugly. <laughs> Crazy. Uh. As noted in the request for additional time to respond to the motion, Mr. Woodnick also made other references about the state of discovery, which are later found to be false. For instance, Mr. Woodnick informed undersigned counsel before he had a copy of Ms. Owen's file that the file contained no medical reference to support Ms. Owen's claim and that all medical providers named by Ms. Owen's had confirmed she was never a patient. Both of those statements were later found to be completely false. First of all, he did not say all. He never actually used the word all. We can see that if you want to reference that in the in the items that he himself referenced. And yeah, ah, that, that filing is amazing anyway. But he's already done this. He's already made that argument. That dishonesty is what caused the breakdown in communication between the undersigned and Mr. Woodnick. So he's coming up with just reasons here. He's like, oh, I can't... Uh, this is why I'm so horrible. This has nothing to do with any social media comments, and it's nothing to do with the timing of Miss Owen's compliance with other order compelling disclosure. The problem is that the undersigned counsel does not like being lied to, and neither should this court. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Here, the breakdown in communication occurred immediately after undersigned counsel brought these issues up and asked for an explanation. Rather than explaining himself, Mr. Woodnick simply clammed up and refused to respond. That is perhaps an admission of guilt. Why provide an explanation when you don't have one? So him not wanting to talk to this dude because he's acting like a straight up asshole is an admission of guilt. <laughs> oh my God. To summarize, as explained above, undersigned counsel believes Mr. Woodnick lied to the court and he did so for the express purpose of trying to gain a tactical advantage in this case. Sorry if that's harsh. Is that real? Oh my God. This sounds like an email. This doesn't sound like something that you write to a court. But that is what the facts conclusively show. Undersigned counsel admits being upset about this. Any lawyer who cares about justice would be. Willful dishonesty has no place in the profession. Under these circumstances, undersigned counsel believes his strongly worded remarks to Mr. Woodnick were fully justified and appropriate. At the same time, we still have a case to resolve and there's still much to discuss. So long as this remains a case, undersigned counsel has no choice but to put his anger and disappointment aside for now. For now. Again, he's following up on that thread. Again, just he's putting it in documents in the court. He's like, those, those consequences I mentioned, oh, they're coming. They're coming. That's freaking insanity. To move forward the best he can. To move forward, the lawyer must talk, not because they want to, but because the rules require them to. No problem can be solved without the parties talking to each other. For that reason, this court should follow Judge Gaines' wise example and require the lawyers to talk. That's too much to ask. We really do have a problem. <laughs> yes, this is a real document, by the way. This is a real document. For those reasons, the motion to compel lunch should be granted. Oh my God. Yes, that is something else. Now, we never finished all of the examples that were provided in the motion to compel lunch, by the way. I want to go over those because we only had 21 of those and we need to go through them all, but I'm not going to do them all tonight because, yeah, that'll take a while. That has to be a live stream topic by itself. What do you think about that, folks? Does that make you, if you were, if you were a Gredmore, Nick, would you want to talk to this person? I mean, they found a reason to be harsh and nasty. And they're saying, you know, again, I, I find it really interesting that the same person that's telling you, again, you, you're going to get sued for talking about things, says, well, there's a reason to be. Being mean, rude, or argumentative for no reason is one thing. Being mean, moon, argumentative for a good reason is entirely different. Rules for me, but not for thee. Again, free speech lawyer. <laughs> but your speech only matters when. Fascinating stuff, isn't it? <laughs> oh, let's hit some super chats. Let's talk Megan's hair. <laughs> Thanks for the gifted membership. Indeed. Awesome there. Laura, thank you for the gifted membership as well. Appreciate that. Thank you. Suzanne, thank you for the 20 there. Dig the music and commentary. Thanks for keeping me from laundry. I agree. Stay away from the laundry. And Suzanne also thanks for the 20. Chores are out. Entertainment is in. That's exactly right. That is the right attitude. Always. Always. 100%. Can't rap. Thanks for two. Ian is the nicest, but he loves to laugh at stupid. I know. He's a... I, I like Runkle. I've not been on very many live streams with Runkle. I think I've only been on, like, uh, maybe maybe two. They were shared, and, and just in passing, you know. But Runkle is funny. And, and like I was saying, one of the things... I appreciated Ian Runkle because that whole Chris Boozy mess was crazy. You know, it gets lost in the... It gets, it gets lost in all of the talk, all of the the craziness. But Boozy was paid, admittedly paid, by the way. This isn't conjecture. This is, he noted this himself. He was paid by Amber Heard's team and 
according to article written that he shared other teams as well. And what he did with that is come after me for years, <laughs> trying to trying his best to find some reason, just like so many others, to cancel that umbrella guy. And the fascinating thing about all of that was how long it went on, because most people never heard of it or saw it. But when Runkle did, he did a just a, I mean, a fatality. Bam, that argument. Yeah, it was done. So I appreciated that. That was a great one there. Wendy, thanks for the two. Hey, Tug, Megan in chat. Love listening to you. Thank you. Thank you. Camilla, thanks for the two. No statement, but plenty of statement in backing. Thank you. Rhea Rye, thanks for the tune. For my 16th birthday, my big brother got me a cigar. <laughs> really, what'd you think of that? I uh, Cigars are kind of a newer thing. I, I like them, but I try to moderate, you know. I don't want to smoke them all the time or anything. Jeff, thanks for the five. Laura Diamonds or Victor Sinclair? Liquor infused cigars. They're both amazing. I like personally, if I can get them, I like the um, <clears throat> the Alma uh, Fuertes, I think. The uh, what are they? Let me see what type these are. There's the Sixtos and what are they? The Generation V or Fives. I don't know which one. I mean, you know, <laughs> I read this, I haven't talked about them. It's not like I have a set down there. 200 watt studio. Thanks for the two. Is Nick Ricardo okay? I hope so. I know there's been, I, I don't know what's going on with uh, Nick. He says he's okay. Um, I, I, I don't know though. I, I, I'm just going to be honest about this. I, I do worry about him. And I hope if there's anything going on that, you know, he has a lot of friends online. He has a lot of, he has a lot of friends, period. He's done a lot for other people. So if he ever needs anything, can reach out, you know, otherwise, I mean, whatever's going on in his life is his business too, but he does, he has friends there. So I, I hope he's okay. You know, I'm not a, I don't, I'm not a big chatter with people. You know, I do my thing, I do a lot of stuff online and everything. So I'm not in a position where I can say yay or nay about anything. But like I said, I hope so. Miss Dress Loon, thanks for the vibe. Mine was a gallon of milk missing in the minivan for two months before it exploded. Oh, gross. Gross. That's so gross. Yeah, milk. Ugh. That's so nasty. And some more. Thanks for the two there. Pay to see Judge Meta's reaction to the motions. Indeed, that would be funny. Wheezy Wheels, thanks to him. I was a dumbass today. Crashed my wheelchair, somersaulted, and landed like a turtle on its back. Oh, no. It was so funny trying to get back into the chair while laughing was not easy. Today was a good day. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad you could see the humor in that. You know, being able to look back and laugh about stuff. Uh, I mean, I've had some, <laughs> I've had some really stupid, you know, incidents <laughs> where... I look back and think, man, that was kind of comical, but I hope you're okay. That's. Rhea Ra, thanks for the two. Hashtag tramp stamp. Sounds like Zap Brannigan. <laughs> Zap Brannigan, <laughs> Futurama. <laughs> I always love Zap. Uh, Kirby, thanks for the two there. What a, why, are, why are all the crazies named Michelle? <laughs> There, there are quite a few that come up there. I need to know some, uh, some very stable Michelles. That would help me a lot. <laughs> it goatee, what's up? It. <laughs> he said, "I felt a disturbance in the force." <laughs> yes, <laughs> Megan arrives. Therefore, it wasn't really a ghost she heard. It was actually a need for it goatee. <laughs> Tomorrow, thanks for the three there. Did the louder milk vocal fries? <laughs> Did like the louder milk vocal fries? <laughs> Oh, Cindy, thanks for the 17 months. I can't believe I missed over an hour of your live. I can't stand myself. I know. I know. You know, it is a, it's actually a crime. In fact, I'm going to have to go back to this. Did you know that missing part of these live streams is actually condemned? Mm -hmm. It is. It is a crime against nature. Oh, speaking of 
Kids, by the way. Hey, what you doing, kiddo? I found something. What'd you find? Found oh, man, these are Pokemon cards. You want me to open that for you? Yeah, I could. Yeah. yeah I like Charmander. You like Charmander? Yeah, Charmander is my favorite one from all the Pokemon. It is. Charmander is your favorite. Let's see what you got here. You got a... We got... A bunch of names. I look at them. You take them upstairs. You can look at them. There. Take them with you. Um, you want the wrapper, too? It's very cool. You can put them back in there, or you can put them. We'll find you a little case later. Now, you carry them like that. We'll find your case a little bit, okay? Um, the sweet Pokemon one. There's four, actually. Oh. Bye. See, two, three, four. See, that one's hiding. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, Charmander? no, it's cool. No. No. Well, I think Sissy might have a Charmander. Ask her. I, she has some Pokemon cards. Ask her if she has a Charmander. We'll put it in our thing for you. Oh, a Buck Charmander. Yeah, maybe that's a dragon. That's cute. They're all Pokemon. Money. You want to leave them down here and I put them in something for you? You mean to put them in a thing for you? No, yeah, maybe. You I'll, give me a box. Yeah, I'll get something for you. After the live stream, I'll put them in a thing. We can put them together, okay? Go upstairs for a few moments. I'm almost done. I'm okay. almost done now, okay? Why are good cigarettes in the bag? Oh, that's trash. But why that's, are that, all them... It's for it's a trash bag. Why are they full of cigarettes? Those are cigar butts. They're in a trash bag to throw uh, away. I just want I just look at you. I'm just going to look at you. All right, go upstairs, okay? Okay. All right, love you. We'll play in a few minutes, okay? I'm almost done. Well, we can look for it. Actually, when we go to the comic shop next time, we can look and see if they have uh, Charmander. Or when we go to the video game store, they have Pokemon cards. We can look through their Pokemon cards and find a Charmander. Okay? Maybe we... Yeah. See. Let's get three of them. Maybe <laughs> we'll, we get five of them. Five of them now? Okay. Well, we'll look, okay? One? We'll find five Pokemon cards, okay? Maybe. And you can pick five. This many. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Tracy, thanks for the two. It's Pumpkin Spice, a new Spice Girl. <laughs> that was a strange uh, find. Like I said, somebody emailed me and they were like, you know, I I'm respectful and everything else for me. This is what they told me, but maybe that's a little too far. I was like, is, is that a joke? <laughs> and they were like, I don't know. I don't know if that is. So I, I looked through the. The, I, the, I forget what the wiki is called, but it has a list of stuff. And it's like, all right, is that real? <laughs> Kathy, thanks for that. When I sing, I tell kids I was a spice girl. <laughs> I tell them I was rotten spice. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, John, thanks for that. You should pull that gender page back up. You need her tonsil twins as a new one. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Julie thinks it's a vibe. Maybe she should have a throat culture. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And was confused and thought it was a pregnancy test. <laughs> Strep throat. Oh, yes. Positive. Wait a minute. It's positive for what now? <laughs> right. What are you doing back here again? One. Yeah. You like this. Yeah. That is cute. Here, take it upstairs, though. Here. Turn around. It took the got smile. I'll be through in five minutes for real. Okay. Maybe two minutes? <laughs> no, it'll be five minutes because I got to read these real quick. And then, then we'll play our game, okay? Okay. All right. Ah. You got to go upstairs so I can get through them, okay? okay. Thank you. Wheezy Wheels, thank you for the gift. Of, whoops, I missed one. That, well, thank you for the gift of membership, too. You can't tell I missed one, <laughs> but I saw I missed one. Also, Colorado. I hate this one before, but I thought that was funny. How many licks does it uh, take to get to the center of a pregnancy test? It sounds like a tootsie roll, indeed. Tracy, thanks for the 10. Here's for your custom sonogram. I'm thinking about ordering one. Just see what it looks like. Sending it to it. Jesse, thanks for the two. Money for the new baby, too. <laughs> Thank you. The babies will appreciate that. Jeffrey, thanks for five. Get some real candy for the real baby, but keep laughing for the at the fake ones. We all need to laugh. Huge laughs. The world's falling apart. It is, man. There is so much crazy. I mean, right now we have what looks like war popping off. I mean, just, whew, man, worrisome stuff, you know? 
John thinks if you can't delete it now or it's abortion. Oh no, I can't do that. Um, that <laughs> thanks for the day. The triplet fund. Oh man, yes, you may support the triplets too. Thank you, thank you. John thinks of that. Tugs did equals juggernauts <laughs> launching the juggernauts. That's funny. Ray mail. I want to know what the thank you note is about. Still, I didn't see somebody tell me what that what's the thank you note about. Somebody tell me in the chat <laughs> or write me. <laughs> Wendy, thanks for the two. Hashtag Tugs Baby Deals. <laughs> they're they're a little deal. They're not the big deal yet, right? Let's see. I'm making sure this thing rolls up. My chat keeps freezing up. So, you know, video game <laughs> where you get ambushed by Baby Umbrella Girl. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Oh, the right mail. There it is. Uh, it was sent to uh, what the hell? I was thinking all law tippers. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have to see it. I haven't, I haven't yet. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to ask you. I got about it. Yeah. Zohan. Thank you for the two. For Tug, <laughs> the umbrella. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's funny. Heather <laughs> thinks of uh, This guy's a snitch, a wuss, petty, and needy. Who in the right mind actually presents motions like this? Again, middle school (laughs) needs them back. They sound middle schooly, don't they? (laughs) List. Annette Listrin. Thanks for the two there. I found the Dr. Phil episode. It's in your XDMs. Yeah, I I, I saw that. We were uh, talking about we're going to have to go through it on um, Rumble, Megan, because... It gets claimed here. It gets auto claimed. Doctor Phil, they do that every time. Rachel thinks if I'm going to catch up tomorrow, YouTube not notified me. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> love to you, love to you, Bug, Love, and Megan. Thank you, thank you, Heather. Thanks for the two <laughs> thug chug and plug. <laughs> and Rosalind, thanks for the five. Tubi, Tubi. <laughs> tuggy and hashtag hash you could you could call it hashtag hashtag and then give it a name so they could be hashtag hashtag and then that umbrella baby <laughs> you know so they could be the names hashtag hashtag that umbrella. <laughs> oh my lord heather thinks of the two maybe thug chug and slug <laughs> oh not slug <laughs> Scott's thanks for the two there. Triplets, incisor, canine molar. <laughs> That's a very creative name. Sin, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Tugs Thugs. Thank you. And Jess, thanks for two. Baby names. It's just gas. <laughs> uh, fun times. All right. We have hit everything and caught up so i think we should have a song i'm looking through hmm i think we'll do the parasol pope song the first one <laughs> you know i like the new one too do you want the new song or do you want the one let's let's say new song that was the one from today you want that that'll be number one so one you want the parasol pope song that was from yesterday that'd be a two what are we going to end on <laughs> let's see let's see how the voting goes one or two you know we have the intro song we have a bunch to choose from i've got close to 40 freaking songs now um we're looking at you know people have asked for <laughs> downloads of songs so Ray is looking at how we host those on the website. You're going to free. And if you want to, you know, if you want to back the, um, the music freaking <laughs> addiction, you can actually donate there. That's what we're setting up. Let's see. Let me look at that. New song. There's a bunch of new songs in here. If we keep super chatting, we'll hold them here. <laughs> we need a baby pickle song. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I I pop out songs all day long if it didn't take so long to uh, put the lyrics with them. If you don't put the lyrics with them, you can't understand, you know, some of the stuff that pops up. So let's do the new song and then we'll lead with the other song next time. So here's the Parasol Pope leading us out. Well, this is the new one. It's actually the Pope one. <laughs> the first one for today. Here we go.
this ain't a battle, baby, it's a walk by. Showering verbal rounds on those tiny clowns and laughing as they cry. I'm no longer taking what they're giving, cause they'll leave press on life, baby, that just ain't worth living. We aren't gaining, we're at war with points to board or worth fighting for. Gaining niches in this battle of attrition. As case by case, we pass the ammunition. Hope that umbrella guy back with this communion. My check, my wreck, it's all the old reunion. Syllable call out, wrapped up in this song. Nuclear fallout after dropping this mic bomb. We're not snatching chains, baby, now we're snatching souls They cross this verbal bridge, now they're paying my my tolls The media's flatlined, there's no more resolutions No forgive and forget, this Pope ain't granting that solution It's that umbrella guy pointing at the rat Laughing in their face as they keep demanding we respect Our so-called social betters erasing all your gains Listen and believe, wants to keep us in chains It's that umbrella guy, declaring more on all the haters Dropping meteors on those dinosaurs And bombing all the craters A life in chains isn't worth living And hope that umbrella guy ain't about forgetting about You who wanted to raise the deception in the lies The wolves in disguise, now you're back to the drive-thru But you already knew that like your mic skills Your time was limited, now you're bankrupt Screeching is prohibited So can I get that combo meal with a side of verbal fry? Cause tonight, baby, we're blasting the mic with the ice now walk by Supersize in the rage from this platinum grill Feasting on our anger, nah, this ain't a happy meal Yeah, tonight's forecast isn't rain clouds, it's the rain The Pope umbrella guy, the first mic wrecking away The remnants of the worst What's happening? This ain't a mystery We're relegating you to the dustbin of history